Clinton and so forth. Hey. Mainly, and so forth. No, that's Spencer, actually. Don't forget to refresh. If you can't hear me because you didn't refresh, then that's not very helpful. Right. So read the chat. Read the, if I yell loud enough, you'll just hear me through your house instead of through the internet. I refreshed okay. over here. It yeah. worked. And so forth. So today's game four, and Ma Magnus is white. Hooray for Magnus. Um, and then Jan is black. Yeah, that's the, the DJ they're talking about, I guess, who raps about the chess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess because they were talking about it. I don't know. Yeah. Right. I guess it doesn't matter. Let me see. L it literally doesn't matter. It's Karen. Yeah. So Karen's going to get on the stream in about an hour and a half because she has stuff to do. Um, and she's on right now, actually. Hey. <laughs> That's true. Go, Karen. What about uh, DJ Butcher? What about him? You know, he was a DJ, but also a butcher. Oh. Remember in, uh, on Family Guy? That's yeah, pretty yeah, funny, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was good. It would have been funny if I knew who DJ Butcher was mm -hmm. before that, but I didn't. So. Yeah. All right, let's get All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye, Bye sweetie. Also, see you later. As, as you all know, today is Magnus's birthday. I didn't know that. How old do you think he is? 31. Correct. Yeah, he has a lot of nines in his birthday here. Yeah, 1990. Yeah, if only he was born in 1999. Then we'd be getting somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yesterday, the Washington football team won again, and Seattle lost again. Good. Also, they played each other. I like that their name is football team. Right. I was thinking last night it, they should play the Lions, and then it would be the Washington football team versus the Detroit, n not really a football team. Right. That kind of makes sense. Also, in particular, uh, the Lions' record against the Redskins and the Washington football team is, frankly, terrible. Right. Like, in the last 40 years, I think the Lions have won once. So, Got them that one time, though. Good. Somebody pointed out on the Internet, the Lions have a better record in November than the L.A. Rams. This, I mean, this November. Ah, uh. This month, the Lions had a tie against Pittsburgh, and the Rams lost all their games. So the Lions are too good. They're also doing better than the St. Louis Rams. Mm-hmm. Although it's close. They've won the same number of games. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. They've won the same number of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, 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 <clears throat> the actual game starts in 12 minutes between Magnus and Jan. Magnus is white. Uh, we've had three draws so far. The match is 14 games, and it's 40 moves in two hours, then 20 moves in one hour, then game in 15 minutes, um, and then it moves 60 when they've made the second time control, There, an increment starts. And we haven't had that happen yet. <clears throat> the games have made it to move 60, as far as I know. Right. Yeah. So what about move one? Probably D4 Again. Again. D4 is the way to play for a win, usually. Not that you can't win with one E4, but, you know, just you, usually. Don't forget C4, Knight yeah, F3, yeah. and most importantly, B3. Oh, C4 and Knight F3 are the same mm -hmm. as each other and D4. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> probably will all transpose. Agree. One E5, wow. That would be a good first move. Yeah. Confusing. And he's like, opponent. oh, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I meant to go e4, but I got confused. Well, probably the person who makes the opening move, they play e5. Right. So, forth. Yeah. so the back of the chair says Coinbase. I guess that's yeah. a sponsor. Yeah. Maybe they meant chess base, but they got confused. That's likely. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's winning? Well, if anybody's winning, it's white, but probably a draw. Right. I agree with that. Mm. Yay, 404. It's not found our viewers. You know uh, when... What? 
Oh, hey. right, right. I remember this noise. It, it's startling, Sabu though. Sabu <laughs> Bob upgraded to, to a mem- diamond membership. That's cool. He was a diamond in the rough. All right. You know when uh, Bronstein and uh, Botvinnik played? Uh-huh. And Bronstein prepared the French and Dutch to show Botvinnik, like, I can play both your openings. What are you going to do about it? Mm-hmm. Do you think that Magnus will show up to the board with a man bun in the same style? Almost for sure. <laughs> it is his birthday. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Anyone else seeing black screen? Nope, just you. Nah. <laughs> yeah, Magnus no, no. said he hadn't won a world championship <clears throat> classical game since 2016. That sounds right. Yeah, true. It was Karyakin or Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his hair is a little too short for the man bun. I mean he could get a, a little mini bun going, I guess. I mean, he's the world champion. He can you know. All right. Maybe a wig or something. Cinnamon bun. Mm. Ooh, that's awesome. Frankly, delicious. Thanks, Fen buying gold. Yeah, the smell will really get mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. The, the, when I was at university several times, the, the class before a test, the teacher would say, any questions? And the questions were never regarding the material that would be on the test. The questions were, what time is the test? Do I have to bring a pencil? Do I have to bring a Scantron? If I finish early, can I leave or do I have to stay the whole time? Can we go to the bathroom? Can I use my phone during the test? You know. Yeah, these uh, are good questions. Yeah, and then and then when the teacher would answer those questions, then we'd leave. There's no like I don't understand the material. <laughs> nobody understood the material. Anyway, that reminds me. And it's been a while of the chat here. Instead of like you know talking about the match, you guys are like man bun and cinnamon bun. And <laughs> will Magnus show up naked? And you know, that's it, that's. It. You guys must have been in my my university classes. Go hype train. Rembrandt Q. Einstein. Yeah. <clears throat> a great Simpsons reference. In a high school class, my friend Giannis taught, the kids were, you know, 15 <laughs> to 17 for the most part. A girl raised her hand and she asked Giannis, can I go potty? And Giannis said, you can go, but please don't say potty anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hi to the Italian stallion. Yeah. Yeah, those and were good so questions. Forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Da Vinci urologist. They probably like that terrible. story about potties. Mm hmm. Yeah. Man Moth subscribed. Good. Good. Yeah, Man Moth. Making that train start. Okay, the game starts in seven minutes. The same year that, uh, uh, you know, Magnus was born there. Mm hmm. 1990, that's right. Are we expecting a Catalan? I mean, that seems like probably will be Queen's Gambit declined. But Magnus already fired one of his bullets there. He played a weird opening that's Black had to play somewhat precisely to do well. Mm-hmm. So he, he might not do a, another Catalan, or he might have some other idea like that. Man, Mammoth's older than Magnus. I wonder if he's better because more experience. Probably. Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. But, um, you know, he probably won't play for the World mm-hmm. Championship because Danya is going to play next time, so. Right. Is he playing Gotham chess? Right, sorry. Right. Th- these Ooh. two won't play at all. Yeah, that's <laughs> Do you reckon? Hmm. I reckon that's sus. Coda of Soul subscribed. Mad buns are like doping, yeah. Thanks for the <laughs> sub, Rush. Uh, yesterday's game. That was a good game yesterday. Mm-hmm. So Spencer doesn't know probably, but yesterday I streamed about 10, 8, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., etc. Mm-hmm. Spencer equals Magnus, according to him. <laughs> anyway, and, and then I, I broke 2,700 again. So nice. 2,701. That's yeah. good. So I'm almost as high rated as Jan. He's only 2,782. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is a good anagram. Too bad other people can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Soman, for the sub. And somebody else, I think, subbed, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. 
uh, Monday's game followed Fisher Spass in oh, game yeah. two. That's uh, that's true. That's right. Yeah, with some slight differences. Yeah. Uh, oh, Jan's rating is a Lee chess rating. So actually, I'm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Glory B's Lee chess rating is over twenty seven hundred. Go right, and her, and her play is a little rough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after trying to get to 2,800 and Glory B couldn't achieve it, she became a little melancholy. Or wait, should I have said Chihuahua? Right. Yeah, your mom is correct. That is a good yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Pointlessly rooting for Stonewall attack. That's not likely. Yep, only if you're stoned. Then I don't know. Maybe if uh, Deepak was white. Yeah. D- According to Karen, uh-huh. Deepak got I Am Norm. I heard about the that. the U.S. Masters. Yeah. yeah. Go Deepak. It's because mm-hmm. of his great birthday. Yeah. I was rooting for all the cheaters, but none of them did that well. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I'm uh, studying, like, in chess base, and I see it's a, it's a cheater's name, I'm yeah. like, I, I want to play like that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> some good play. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. some good prep. I'm play like the cheater. Mm-hmm. It's not even cheating because I did it before the game. <laughs> it's like pretty nice. Yay, BG Karma. Police 108 subscribed. Go Ben and Spencer. That's us. Mm-hmm. And then, well, let's see. What time is it? It's time to get ill. The game starts in four minutes plus tax. Oh, it's good you said that because somebody just asked when does the match start. Yeah. Oh, the match started a few days ago. Right. Yeah. Right, Igor Ross is tall bear, and I'll play both sides of that opening. Yeah. It's not Evans' gambit with an apostrophe <clears throat> S like that. Boo, because Evans was his name. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Well, yeah, his name was Evans. Not Evans. Yeah, that makes Oh, but it should be Evans and then apostrophe after the S. Mm hmm. I mean, you could just call it Evans Gaming with no apostrophe. No, that's good. E apostrophe V. Jeebus! Yay! Thanks, Jeebus. I think you donated last night, or it was another Jeebus. I always pray to Jeebus. Mm-hmm. Mordecai, that's a cool name. Yeah, Man Moth got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, you don't have to put the two S's. I learned that in school. I mean, you don't have to put an apostrophe. If it was the Kasparov Gambit, you would right, say right, Kasparov's right. Gambit. Oh, you could. Right. Captain. Yeah. That's a good one. Captain Evans. That's right. Captain's Gambit. Hmm. <laughs> there you go, Spencer. Yeah. If you want to have some fun before the game, find the anagram to Armenian GM Rafael Vaganyan's name. That's the funniest anagram, unless you're under 18. You know, I was explaining that mm-hmm. to a friend, a former friend of mine, mm-hmm. and they were like, they didn't know what an anagram was, so I, they didn't get right. what was going on. Yeah, that's a good anagram. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain if you don't know what it is. Sevian's game, but, well, that is good. Fen Beingold. Like green <clears throat> Thank you. Him, though. What do you do? I don't know, 300 bits. Yay. Knight F3? Probably not. Soon enough, that's when it'll start. It'll, it'll, it'll get start. And there, look it'll at get all the strong. photographers. Now, his mom, your mom, when we went to that, a that's tournament. That's not an urban disc. Yeah. We, we <laughs> went to a tournament in the Netherlands, and it was like that. Like, it was everybody was standing there to take a picture. Mm-hmm. So your mom walked to the other side where there was no room and got a picture of the players and then all like 500 photographers. Wow. That picture was published everywhere. That's like uh, mm-hmm. Inception for photographers. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> she showed them. Hmm. Yeah. I don't even know who was playing. Maybe like Tinan and Karpov. Somebody who was pretty good. Oh, latent potential. Yay. You're rooting for etc. cetera. Et cetera usually does well. Yay. Thanks, uh, Xenoid and Lawful Waffle. Oh, look at that train. We're almost done with level four. <laughs> remember when Fabi Ratchet took them seriously? Fabi was an unusual streamer because he didn't say anything. He played and he just said nothing. And then the next game story, he said nothing. Then he stopped streaming. Really? Yeah. He I streamed for like a month. And then he didn't say anything. He played and he played pretty good. Yeah. So yesterday, not only did Fabi beat MVL, 
But according to the gawking right. rabble who texted me yesterday, Fabi was down two points when the bullet started. Yes. Yeah. I saw the whole match. It was so mm-hmm. exciting. It was too exciting. Yeah. At the end, uh, right, Fabi caught back up. Then he was, like, getting totally crushed this one game. He defended like a genius. And then it, Aman's like, it's over. He's just going to resign. Then he defended it. And then they're like, wow, he's going to draw for sure. Then he blundered and yeah. then had to resign. So it was minus one. Uh-huh. Then he won the next game, and then it was the last game, and he crushed it and won. Mm-hmm. He played great, brilliant was at the white? end. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. played brilliant at the end of that game. But yeah, I, I love how they said it's over, and then he defended it. Like, oh, now it's a draw, and then he blundered. <laughs> They're always right the chat. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yesterday in the football game, they were like, Russell Wilson, lately he's been sucking, and he they lost every game, and he hurt his finger, and he's the suckiest. And they went on and on and yeah, on yeah, and on and yeah, on. Yeah. Then the next play, he threw fifty-six yard pass. No, oh. and then and then they were like, "Wow, that was great!" And I was like, "Wait a minute, you just you know, you were dissing right. him that he can't throw." Hey, the players are there. Oh, oh, they're getting ready. Yeah, and then you know, there's there's a guy who's doing this. It turns out he's a shake. A whole lot of shaking going mm-hmm. on. Yeah. What do you play a four? There's there's a lot of boys in the yard there because of all the shakes that are there. All right, all right. I hate it when boys are in my yeah. yard. Yeah. Because of that reason. Magnus is laughing at the move played by the guy. Now, remember, that move is played by the guy. Right, Then he's taken back. I just saw Magnus take it back. But it was C4. Oh, wait. He took back C4. So he did play E4. So, yeah. C4 was played. I would have guessed the guy played E4. Right, right. And then he took it back and played C4. So it is one E4. Proving that... So Evan's gambit is pretty likely. Well... Rui Lopez is more likely. Come on, hype train. We need a hundred oh, sentences to go to level five. Whoa! I you didn't think expect after that. knight takes, he'll play knight c six. Guaranteed. He'll play the Stafford gambit. He should because because you know Rosen's there. Right, so just, right. And then look, come on, one hundred sentences. Thank Jeebus. you, Jeebus. Jeebus saved us. Right, as it was usual. a ninety-eight percent for a minute. Typical Jeebus. Thanks, Gertzel. All right, here comes knight c6. Come on. Yeah, knight c6 for sure. Except okay, for knight one takes thing. f7. Knight takes f7. Yeah, also, that's topple off Kramnik. Uh, knight takes f7 was much more likely than knight c6, for the record. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, uh, probably d4, but he could play knight c3, or even a weird move. Okay. Yeah, they play knight c3 now. Then they're playing no, d4 no, again. No, 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 no. Knight c3 is out of fashion already again. again. Yeah. yeah. But I still play it, because that's like when I was studying a lot, that was popular. I used to play the Petrov, and if you look at games between 1987 and 1993 in the database, I have a lot of Petrovs, because uh, I played the Petrov a lot. Yeah, the Petrov's pretty good. Um, it has the benefit that, you know, on move two, you decide the opening. Mm-hmm. Which, like, if you play knight c6, white has the option of doing many things on move yeah, three. But I decide the opening on move three when I play the Stafford Gambit with knight c6. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's also true. Yeah. Thanks trying to learn. And yeah. I take stuff seven's not terrible, but it should probably equalize. Bishop d6 is the move I played, and that's mm. not the common no move. No way, no. Bishop they, e7, they knight c6. I like to play knight c6 yeah, yeah. and bishop e7. Yeah, castle c4. Yeah, this is my game. The most, fa- the most man. Jan's always playing. Kind right, of right, right. <laughs> the most famous up, game <laughs> that I have in this line against the best players against Andrei Sokolov, Reykjavik, nineteen ninety. That was a one million move draw. Yeah, Andrei Sokolov was good in nineteen ninety. True story. Yeah, yeah. Top ten in the world. <sighs> Delicious. But he couldn't beat me when I was black. I showed him. Yes, E4, C6 is what they're analyzing. And Fabi's like, right. this was the main line when I was one year old. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it makes sense to play C4 when yeah. Black has played Bishop They D6. also play Rook E1 or Knight C3 here. Those are other moves. Mm. But I mainly face C4. Yeah. And whenever I played the Petrov against a club player, they and we'd get a position like this, maybe I'd have Bishop E7. They'd always just play Knight D2 mm-hmm. in a position like this. I would just trade and equalize E very easily. Mm-hmm. But you won't see that because, uh, well, unless he does it. <laughs> because, um, you know, the problem with Black's position is the Knight on E4. And C4, it, like for example, is is, uh, is punishing it. Does one of Jan's seconds play the Petrov or not really well, like Karyakin or something? No. But Karyakin probably knows how to play white in oh, Petrov. Yeah. Totally. So he's like, hey, yeah, I'm play this because I don't know what to do against it. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps not. Perhaps. 
perhaps not. Yeah. Still theory, that's true. Yeah, I, I drew Sokolov in a 1988-89 um, in Hastings. I lost to Glenn Fleer in 800 moves in a double rook ending in this line. Mm. And I have a lot of wins, but they're against Rufus and Doofus. Glenn um, Fleer is kind of a grinder, huh? Yeah. Not a sandwich. Yeah, right. But, you know. He's not a hoagie. Yeah. Are all the seconds public yet? Probably not all of them. No. Right? Mm hmm. You learn to Fleer, nothing but Fleer itself. I didn't see Glenn Fleer for like 800 years. And then I saw him at the World Youth in um, either Greece or Slovenia. I think Greece. But I'm not sure if it was Greece. I think it was Greece. But anyway, yeah, I hadn't seen him in forever. And as you all know, Glenn Fleer had the greatest upset in the history of sport when he was a replacement in a Super GM tournament in Bath, I think. I think it was Bath. I don't know. 1983, 1984, 82, somewhere in there. And he was an IM, and the other players were like Paul Gajewski and Fisher and Steiner. Anyway, he was the lowest rated player and then some. He got married right before the tournament, and he won the tournament. Which wow. doesn't make any sense. He was 170 points lower than the average rating. So, yeah. Then after that tournament, that was it. He never had a good tournament again. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, probably Fisher wasn't playing, but yeah. if Paul Gajewski was, that's already insane. No, I mean, everybody was really good. Yeah. yeah. It was like the top players than him. Because he was, the, <clears throat> excuse me, he was the local yokel. Right, right. <clears throat> and then... Um, his wife, Christine Fleer, who's a French WIM, I think, like, she just totally quit chess because I haven't... Also, they're probably not married anymore because who is? You know? Right, right. I mean, I knew when Susan and Keith Ar Arkell were playing, uh, were married, and I even know that Susan's name was Susan Walker. That's how long I've known them. Then they divorced, and she married Lalich. So mm. she was Susan Lalich. Okay. And then probably they're divorced because they got married 20 years ago, so. But I don't know. I haven't heard of, you know, Susan Lalich, Nay, Arkel Nay Walker in years. She was pretty good. She was 2,300 feet, eh? Dang. Yeah. That is pretty good. I okay. Should, I should marry a GM. So, rookie one, this is my game with John Fedorowicz from the... Mm, what's the term in Philly in Thanksgiving? I don't know. National Chess Congress. <laughs> and if I remember correctly... Uh, let's see. What did I do? I played Bishop G4. F5 is pretty committal, but maybe playable. Let's see. Did I play Bishop G4? It weakens the dark squares a lot. Is this the line that I played? And then... Uh, Engine doesn't hate it. Is it F5? I think it's F5. Okay, lawful, lawful. Yeah, something like this. It would be a good idea, though. Yeah, this is this used to be theory, and then here and here. Oh. Yeah, I think this was theory before you guys were born. Yeah, but I, I don't remember if that's, that's intriguing. If true. Yeah, pretty sure that's the line. Yeah, it's tough because what does black do here? You know, the knights hanging. Bishop f five is also a move. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Well, then you could... No, no, you're, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, bishop f5 is normal, right? Mm -hmm. You can't really punish that, like, too hard. Just yeah, by you normal could play moves. this also. Right, I didn't really want to play rookie 8, though. Now, 30 years ago, knight c3 was more common than rookie 1. Mm-hmm. Um, and Fabi's showing the most insane line in chess history where somehow the queen has taken both rooks. Right. Yeah, he's showing like some Like bishop old... f5, queen b3, I guess. Yeah, he's showing some old theory. Yeah. Yep, that's how you punish bishop f5. Mm-hmm. Greek gift would be funny. Mm -hmm. Especially if it was legal. Yeah. Well, knight f6 is okay, but, you know, it's sort of symmetrical position. Like, it's, it's like an exchange French, but you're down... At least one tempo, mm -hmm. if not two, and uh, white it should be a little better. So usually in, in a Petrov you don't really go for that. 
but you you can still try it and just grovel. So did you hear this story that you know when you study in chess space there's the online database uh -huh. and you can for the cloud you can either go private or public. Yeah, yeah, we <clears> talked <throat> about this on the live stream. Yeah, and then <clears throat> they said that the position was on the live cloud. They didn't make it private from they assume one of the player's seconds. Wow. Cuz the because um in game two maybe one yeah. of the games the uh the guy said hey like on the live cloud i moved 20 this position was analyzed like two days ago and the players are like what unlikely yeah yeah, yeah. it had to be one of the seconds yeah right so they they thought it was magnus's second not jan's but i don't know why right yeah go moblo yeah if you write the the answer then you're you're banned man it's tough Knight F6, yeah, Bishop F5, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember theory, I remember theory was queen, this is 30 years ago. And when I say 30, I mean more than 30. Knight A6, and then if you take, uh, well, you can't take because the rook, yeah, so that doesn't, yeah. The point of queen C2 is to move your knight, and then if you take the knight, you can take the bishop later. Right, right. Like knight C3, knight C3, bishop F5 is probably winning. But why not just knight bd2 right now? Exactly. Yeah. Knight takes f2. Correct. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was barely kidding. So the engine wants to do this, and then a3, and then bishop g6, so there's no knight c3 tricks. And then it thinks that white is slightly better here. This is the engine line. I like white. A lot of space. Mm -hmm. Only d4 is weak, but who cares? Yeah. Yeah, you, normally I wouldn't think of bishop c7 because I want to play knight c7 to e6. Yeah, and bishop e7 to f6 makes sense. Yeah, so maybe if the engine thinks a longer time, it'll not play there because I don't. I like I like this idea a lot. Normally, you want your knight on e6 when you have this pawn structure. Usually, oh, yeah. it's, it's knight d7, knight f8, knight e6. But you know, is this pawn? Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, now the engine says this is equally good because it's gonna do a rigmarole and eventually get to the position that it wants. And yeah, bishop e7 also looks very reasonable. Okay, we're still in the theory and the prep. Um, he played queen b3. So it looks like they may be following the crazy Fabi line that's theory that those guys know that I don't. Queen b3, queen d7 was played. Right, and this is what Fabi was talking about. It's just pretty protect uh b7 yeah yes. it was like knight c3 takes 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 and then i give up yeah yeah mainly giving up that's right lawful lawful knight f2 yeah. after knight bd2 because yeah. d3 it, was weak and and this is this is like um not like uh, this is like a theoretical battle that they both know so like for example in this position if we go here to play the, knight the, a6 the engine doesn't take that it goes takes, well, that's a good mouse slip. Takes, takes. Now, if you take on C3, I can take on C4. Then the players shake hands. They're completely equal. All zeros, every line the engine says. So we have a Swishensuk confusing the German followers. We're like, what does that mean? C5. And now, to confuse Spencer further, Bishop, Bishop H2. Uh. I yeah. thought bishop c5. Or, yeah. Bishop c5 is playable. Yeah. The problem yeah. with this is it's worried about knight d4 coming. And then, you know, I could always play yeah. d4. You know. yeah. So it, it wants that pawn to stay there. If you take the rook, knight a6 traps the queen, Alex. Yeah. Right. And then this is a slightly better for white. It's equal material. Black mm -hmm. has the open b line. Black has a good knight. This knight's going to go to e6 the normal way. The rook's going to move. And... Yeah, I wouldn't think yeah. black's doing poorly here uh, because the bishop's pretty bad, potentially. Yeah, once I get my but, knight here, I should be yeah, fine. Having now. a b-pawn's better than an h-pawn, though. So. All right. Now, again, that's... I mean, this is all prep, so I'm just right, waxing right. idiotic. And now, so queen idiotic. takes a8 is another move. Now, the queen's trapped, so we save our knight. Okay? And now we're threatening knight b6. And then, yeah. Hey, stop making moves. What happened? Right, right. What? So they are playing. It was knight c3, knight c3, bishop f5. Right, this is all prep, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And he just, he played, just played bc. Yeah, he played bc instead of bce because he's old school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, let's go back to this line because he didn't do it. Then knight a4 threatening this. So in this position, C5. white's up the exchange, but that's not good because yeah. it's trapped. So c5 is forced because... Yeah, but still knight a6. Knight a6, correct. And then if Second. queen takes, always, always play, play bishop f8. Gotta yeah. always play it. And then black has a queen and a piece for two rooks. So the engine says only 1.3, but... Also got a pawn. I guess because this knight is trapped. That's yeah. why it's only 1.3 instead of resigns. But you can't do anything about it. No. You can't play B3. You can't even play bishop D2. No. You have to play like rook B1, then bishop D2. Yeah, then it's giving B3. this move. You know, it's trying to... Tra like, right, right. then move the... Bi and yeah. then the giant women. Yeah, Then yeah. the petite women. And right, then right. the giant women again. Yeah. Well, they're the large women, but yes. yeah. Okay, so he played BC because this is his prep. Both players still in prep. And Fabi's analyzing B6, takes, takes. So we can play B6 or Queen D7, and the engine says that's it. You can't play any other moves. I predict the game will conclude. Right. As in Spencer's favorite game, Jetescu Fisher, Olympiad. Probably 62, but I don't remember the year. Remember the year? I don't remember that I game. I think it was 60. Yeah, Jatesco was white against Fisher and did that. Yeah. And uh, Nimzo Indian. Uh-huh. And Fisher won in like 12 moves, and it was that was board one. So, I mean, the team, you know, the, I guess he's Romanian. They must have been like, yeah, yeah, our board one lost with white in 12 moves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, they probably thought he'd lose anyway. Right, he hung his queen. Like that. Just like that. Thanks, yeah. Mad Max. And and then after the game, Fisher said, when I move, you move. Just like that. Right. Yeah. So that's likely to happen, except for one thing. Anyway, B6 is the recommended move. Because if you play queen D7, how am I supposed to get my knight out? But if I play B6, then I can get my knight out. Yeah. And, you know, white has this suspicious pawn structure. So black should be close to equal. Etc. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems like he's got a lot of pressure on the queen side, though. Yeah, <clears throat> I, after, I wouldn't like love to have after black. B six. Black wants to take. There it he is. He took Keeping earlier than queen B seven, so that's not good. Takes right. B five. Queen moves knight D seven. Papa John's. That's why he takes this first. This game will probably be a draw, but uh, yeah, and this is still theory. This like is the players' bit, prep, you know. etc. Except. See, here's the thing. Jan didn't know what move Magnus would play on move one. So right. if he played e4, he prepared the Petrov, and he didn't know what line Magnus would play. And Magnus didn't know Jan would play the Petrov. Yeah. So they just have millions of things prepared, and then this is one of them. And they have to remember what they prepared, which isn't yeah. easy for either player because Jan didn't know Magnus would play e4. He didn't know Magnus would play rook e1. And I don't know if Magnus expected the Petrov, but I guess so, because he's moving instantly every move. Yeah. <clears throat> they are playing instantly, race for the prize. Right, so he can't move his knight to here or here. That's why queen b5. You can't attack the queen, because queen takes b6. Queen d7 is the engine move, which was played immediately. And yeah. now we guarantee, you know, the, what the <laughs> I showed yeah. earlier. Right. Be like, oh. <laughs> I can't believe I hung my queen. So A4 is the normal move. When I say normal, I don't know this position. That's just what I would play like in a one-minute game. Rook B1 is also okay. And then if you were at home, you would play that because you, know, you guys are very good. Well, the board's actually half full, Ray, yeah. not half empty. You guys are like, oh, I can trade queens instead of you know making a normal move. Yeah. I like A4, yeah. Right. Rook B1, if you trade, that pawn's hard to defend. Yeah, and Black just wants to play knight c6, develop his pieces, and they agree to a draw. Yeah, Magnus already looks resigned to the draw. Yeah, yeah. But Magnus likes to win these boring equal positions. So he's every other game, Magnus plays like a maniac. He's sacrificing every game and two bishops and the Vatals. Yeah, he played a4. This is prep. It's Still not prep, yeah. A4 is just the move I would play without thinking because, you know, of course... But, of course. Yeah, you want to trade off this isolated pawn. You gain space for your rook. You get access to a3. If he takes, the b5 pawn is annoying because it stops all, all of black. Now, the engine says queen takes, rook c8, and rook d8 are all about equal. If, I, if, if an engine told me I could play either of these moves, I would play rook c8 because I don't mm -hmm. want white to go here 
and open this file and have the pawn stop me and this pawn's weak. Okay, but this is still prep. So. Right. Yeah, now he'll play a5. And Magnus probably has to take it. The chess.com coverage isn't showing. It says it's down or something. <laughs> yeah. Return yeah, played, shortly. Yeah. And Gotta th play a5. This is still prep. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, um... I ex okay, he didn't take it, so he made this move, which the engine doesn't like, but it's prep. Still prep. And his engines are better than the one I'm using, and his seconds. Well, right. it could also be a, a an on purpose inaccurate mm -hmm. move. Yeah, but I mean, my seconds are Glory B and Kazoo, <laughs> and his seconds are you know Norwegian GM, so it's about the same, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So Magnus, having watched all of my streams. Always wants to play knife f5. So you can't really, you know, you can't argue with that. <clears throat> yeah. So let me go back, a, like, a few moves and then see what the chess.com opening is. God, yeah. there's only one game in this position, and it was here. Okay, and now there's, and now there's two. two games. That makes sense, yeah. It's transposing. Okay, a4. And then rip d8 was played in the chess.com game. Right. And he took, and now there's no chess.com games. Aw. Right. And so Jan probably didn't prepare for knight h4. Because the computer doesn't like it. Yeah. And and so now he's going to think for 40 minutes. So yeah, if you have yeah, to take yeah. a shower, mm -hmm. go to the bathroom, shave, yep. get dressed, have some coffee, come back, it'll be this position. I'd be surprised if Magnus was even at the board now. Mm -hmm. He knows that he's not going to know this move. Yeah. G6 like, is the only good yeah. move. Fabi's really. like, I analyzed this move a long time ago, and when we got to move 40, we agreed it was equal. G6, G4. He'll yeah. certainly play G4 then. Yeah, because he wants to play knight G2 to E3 and attack this. And don't put a pawn on and, a dark square, right? Yeah, and with the knight here, yeah. you can't attack this. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you move the knight 50 times, then you can attack that. Yeah. Or even to F4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could play bishop, bishop F4, F4, take with the knight, and if knight F6, we can play rook E7 or rook E5. And the problem is if we keep trading this queens, yep. but if we don't keep trading then these two pawns are weak. On the other yeah. hand, this pawn is weak. So the engine actually likes black. It said, I mean, but obviously this is still prep and Magnus and his engines and his seconds <laughs> says white's fine. But black's going to play G6, stopping this, develop his knight, put his rook on the open file, attacking this. And white's going to play G4, knight G2, and then either trade bishops or play knight E3 or knight F3 f4 <clears throat> attacking this try to attack this if white can successfully trade bishops and threaten the d-pawn at the same time then when black defends the d-pawn we have rook e7 if we trade bishops and this pawn isn't attacked we could play king f8 and stop rook e7 so it's mm -hmm. a timing issue and magnus must have deep preparation past this like you guys do except for one thing yeah well, G3 uh, would put a pawn on a dark square, which you don't generally want to do, but it's probably not bad for white to do that, as mm -hmm. opposed to G4. But G4 is cooler. Yeah. The other idea behind G4 is if the knight goes to F6 to defend the weak pawn, kick, before kick. knight F6, we could play G5. Or, yeah, yeah. Then you can't play knight F6, so then I just go take the pawn and you resign. Yeah. Because I can back up my pawn six ways from Sunday. You can't get rid of the G, that G5 pawn. Mm -hmm. Right. So I expect a 35-minute thing from Jan here. Yeah, yeah. He's already tanking. Also, I'm not kidding. I expect a 35-minute thing. <laughs> right. He's like Free Willy getting in the tank. Or out of the tank. Well, how did that go? So a lot of you guys, when you play chess, you make moves and you're like, I hope this works. And then it works sometimes. It doesn't work other times. And when it doesn't work, a lot of times your opponents don't show you it doesn't work. So that's been working for you. Top players don't do that. Jan knew the position until knight h4, and now he doesn't. All right. So when you don't know the position, you yeah. never move. You have to think forever and figure everything out. It's the most fun he's ever had. But I tell this to my students, too. On your first move out of opening theory, you have to start thinking. You know, I do that. Anybody who plays me, like, over the board... They know exactly when my opening prep ended because I play instantly until I have to start thinking for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but lower rated players, sometimes I can't tell. They're like, it's move four, they're playing fast. It's move eight, they're still playing quickly. It's move 12. You and know, it was they move one down. and they were like, I don't know what to do. I'm right. move one. So I, just yeah. did, I just did something. So it's, it's kind of yeah. weird. Frankly, terrible. 
Yeah, you gotta yeah. have a professional attitude if you want to be good. A small dark roast. I have a medium roast. Yeah. Okay. How about this? You suck, <laughs> and everybody you ever met sucks. That was a small dark roast. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was small. But... Well, it would be darker if you're like, I hope you die. You know. Yeah, that's not. That would be like a you know, different kind of roast. Yeah. It'd be dark. Huh? Yeah. But it's not small. Do you sometimes fake being out of prep? I don't really do that. No. Oh. Not really. Would you call this a middle game, an end game, or opening prep? <laughs> well, I would say it's still definitely opening prep. Yeah, that's but, the most accurate. Yeah, but it's also, I would, I would say, a middle game if I had to choose mm-hmm. between the other two. The last thing it is a, is an end game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, he did play GC. He didn't mm-hmm. think as long then, as we thought we can, he would then think. Then we can see him play it after he plays it. That's my favorite yeah. part. Man, what a delay on the video. How are the players supposed to cheat if there's such a big delay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fabi already has everything cleared <laughs> off and it work on E7 and Black Sacks yeah, yeah, the Knight yeah. and Queens and right. the Bishop B2. But then it's mate, so you can't just give up the Bishop Right, board. Bishop B, yeah, I like yeah, that. That's yeah. a funny line. Okay, so let me show you what the engine says. Now, in Fabi's quote-unquote analysis, I assume it's Fabi because nobody yeah. else can analyze there, G4 is not the move. In his analysis, so there's all kinds of back rank mates. Um, but anyway, here's the engine line that I have: G4, Knight D7, Knight G2, Knight F6, Bishop H6, Rook F D8 to defend the pawn after the knight gets kicked. Knight E3, always play Bishop F8, Bishop G5, obviously, Bishop G7, and the engine still has a small preference for black. Because it defended the pawn. We're not going to lose the pawn. This is a past pawn protected forever. And this is a backward pawn. If you don't know what a backward pawn is, please ask Farnsley69. He'll explain it to you. Thanks for the sub, Richard Winter. Very suspicious yeah. indeed. And the engine says this is going to be a draw if this happens, which it won't. But yeah. Anyway, White's idea with Knight H4 is to go here. And the other idea is to play knight g2 to e3 and pressure that. And g6 weakens the dark square, so my bishop is a little bit better than it was. And g6 is probably the only move that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. One of the engine lines is knight d7. Look at this, Spence. Uh-huh. And then after here, just rook e8. Because mm-hmm. always play bishop f8. Back and always mate. back rank mate your opponent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is considered fine for black. So black has more than one way to equalize according to the dumb engine. Right. But the problem with the dumb engine is the people who made it, they also made dumb Starbucks. So All right. uh, there's a problem. Well, that, that would, I'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So G4 was play because he's still in prep. Now it turns out I got a text this morning and I wasn't allowed to tell you guys, but now I can, is the main second of Magnus that people don't know is Matt Larson. And oh, Matt's yeah. like, look at this G4. And Magnus is like, all right. I told you he'd play G4, though. Yeah. Why are they playing like Geary? What? Well, yeah. So this pawn's weak. This pawn's weak. This pawn's weak. This pawn's passed. Material's equal. G6 helps out this bishop, but it also gives black luft. This is a so complicated forth. position. Mm-hmm. It's simplified, but it still has some details because of all the the pawn structure is very different you know now, like now let's play like a human okay okay because the computer says bishop h6 in this position then rook d8 and the pawns defended forever what if we just go here and then i'm threatening this oh, maybe I don't not know. 94 no, but i'm no. sort of threatening that you are threatening well, yeah. yeah 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 the engine says this is winning for black like here because the knight's pinned that's okay. why bishop wants to get out yeah, now we're threatening this. Yeah, harsh. What if we never played F3? Is it a tactical blunder? Probably. Yeah, then we go here. Man, you use six ways from Sunday. The position's over. creaking, yeah. Yeah. That's what it then is. Then if Bishop here, we go That's here. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. He, he's on everything. No, no, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all a bluff, but it's a good bluff. And in the end, isn't that the real truth? The answer is no. How dumb is Bishop A3? It's not too dumb. Man, if Black plays it, it's pretty dumb. 
<laughs> I assumed for white. <clears throat> right. Well, he played G4, so it's not his turn. Right. But this is a common thing you guys do is... Trade. Like, what if white plays knight G6 and then follows it up with that? And I'm like, wait, what? Not his turn. It's still not his turn. Oh, here it is. The funny thing would be is if Jan knows this, but he doesn't. No, no. But he's playing really fast considering he doesn't know it. Yeah, well, I would say that he probably convinced himself he just has to play G6. Yeah. You know? His moves are correct. He yeah. wants to play here. He wants to play here. He wants to play knight F6 and now lose his pawn. There's just no way four. that it's prep. Yeah, you black. can't have the knight here. You have to go here. You can't. Yeah. All right. If, uh, yeah. He played knight G2. <laughs> And the engine says knight f6 is fine, rook here is fine, and rook here is fine. And the indigo girls said some moves are closer to fine, but they meant fine gold. They just messed up. Well, they're, they're, they've only played one match, Leopard. But I, I, I guess, yeah, Magnus is uh, he, he's like getting uh, positions that, or he's playing a move that the computer won't love. And he did this with the other white game. In the cattle in there, um, but obviously Nepo didn't analyze it, and it's it's not so easy for the opponent. But that's sort of his goal is to find something like that. It seems like he he did it this time, but he's not objectively better, so it's hard to say if he you know out prepped him or not. Look at this variation, Spence here. Bishop h6 uh -huh. takes. Uh huh. Knight g4, yeah. Yeah. It's so king h1 or something. King h1, then here, and you still can't take it. Right, but I could play bishop g5. Then knight e... No. I'm going to take that. Then f3. I didn't see that. Then f6 or h6. Oh. Yeah. This isn't a move. It says rook takes and knight here is equal. But let's look at this. Rook. I'm losing. Oh, rook takes and knight And then knight e4. But I can still get two yeah. for one, right? Ah, uh, queen town, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. I did see this, but I thought I could get two for one, but it's... Not just play bishop a3 in one move, and mm -hmm. it's unclear. White's doing well, maybe. But I don't want to play bishop c1, b2, a1. <laughs> yeah, this, says, right. the, this <laughs> says white resigns. Yeah, I can't even do that, because bishop c1, a3, then I can't I mean, play bishop b2. you could put your knight on a1, which horrible. the engine does this, yeah, but doesn't horrible, play here. Horrible. Yeah, Totally horrible. I mean, I might as well just give up the knight, let you queen, mm -hmm. and take it, you know. Yeah, it likes black here with, like, any move. I like the way f6 is one of the top moves. That's a funny move. Yeah, if you, I guess if you take it. Well, I don't know if rook, if rook uh, f8 works. But I, I don't know if rook a3 works. Oh, what, what happens if I take it? Why, 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 why is it? F7, oh, it says eight, just oh. here. Uh. That's an unusual line. Hmm. All right, so here, then rook here. I mean, nobody's going to play this. Ah, uh -uh. rook c5 is annoying. God damn, that's annoying. <clears throat> I didn't realize how annoying that was. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, rook b1 darn, is coming, yeah. Darn, that's annoying. All right, I resign. Yeah, the engine resigns. Or you can't, you might even lose, like, let, have to let them queen. He played rook fc really quickly. Like, he's preparing, he's, he's pretending he's in prep. Maybe... This G, knight h4 g4 was on the online database, and they're like, ah, this is what Magnus <laughs> yeah, prepared. Yeah. yeah, I'll believe that. Yeah, that's us, Theo. That is us. So here's the engine line: bishop f4. Uh huh. Bishop anywhere. F8. Your favorite. Bishop b8 f8 or takes. Takes. Knight takes d5. Rook d3. So these are no good. And this is good, so I would expect this isn't good for white. <laughs> Rook e7's forced, it says, otherwise black's better. Knight f8, knight takes, Rook b8, and then the uh, players agree to a draw, I guess. Still looks pretty complicated. Draw. All right, white can't really try to win this, because yeah, if, if, if nothing happens, if the deep pawn's hanging. the king here, here we take that. And f7's hanging, yeah. yeah so neither side can attacked, try to win and too this much. this is strong. And the g pawn will be hanging, 96 too. Is, 96 is coming. Yeah. yeah. No, somehow Nepo did play quickly after mm -hmm. knight h4. I don't he know. He played bishop f4, maybe? Yeah. It says every move is equal. Bishop here, bishop here, and bishop here. It says they're all equal. Yeah. 
Man, this prep gave him nothing. Man. After a bishop here, the engine plays this. Because mm -hmm. that bishop's stupid on B8. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, now bishop F8, we should always play that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, pink, uh, Playboy Carter, for no pink hair anymore. Although it was fuchsia, of course. Maybe, like, Magnus wants to go out and party on his birthday, so the game's going to end in an hour. Even though it's been over an hour. No, it hasn't been. It's been half an hour. This game could end in an hour. Yeah. I totally. mean, he, he, I mean, he, the black, black, I mean, white has nothing. This is weird prep. He prepped into like a dead equal position and, and Jan didn't think very long. So that's weird. Right. I mean, I guess it's somehow possible Jan analyzed yeah. Knight H4. This is but... like Geary's white and forcing the draw and black. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he doesn't even look happy, Magnus. Magnet, like he played Bishop F four really quickly. Like, Dan, uh, the D five pawns hanging for Black there, mm -hmm. but it's playable maybe. Yeah. What happens if they draw every game? Then they have a playoff of tie breaks with Blitz and Rapid or something. Then they mm -hmm. then the loser gets more prize money than if they had lost regularly. So if you lose mm -hmm. the match in regulation, you get forty percent of the prize fund. The opponent gets sixty. If they have fourteen, if they have seven to seven in any possible way, fourteen draws is one of them. Then the the winner gets fifty five percent, the loser gets forty five. Verkina, I think you're asking if the there if this is a rated like FIDE rated event. If that's your question, then yes, of course. Yeah. But I I don't know exactly what you meant. By <laughs> if they that. draw every game, it's like yeah. every other championship. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, it's only the last one. <laughs> I'm guessing if Ferruja ever plays for the World Championship, it won't be 14 draws. It's my guess. No, but also, uh, right, I mean, only the last one was all draws. When was there another all draw right. ever? That was Never ever. Point. Right. But, yeah. Magnus's World Championship matches don't have a lot of decisive games. That's true. They just don't. They have between zero and four. His opponents are pretty good. <laughs> has there been five decisive games in any Magnus match? No, and the no. next question is, has there been four? I don't think there ever... I think he ever... beat a non-three to yeah, one, yeah. right? So that was four. No. He, he beat him. He It was 3-0. Well, but he but not won a game. the first one. But that just, was the second one. Right. But, I mean, there was four. But that's over the course of... You're talking about two different matches. Right. No, no. I'm just saying, has Magnus ever had four decisive games in a match? It, right. And I'm saying no. The the match that Anand won a game? Yeah, he didn't lose three games, did he? I thought he only lost two games then. Really? He lost maybe by he, he lose lost by three. one? That's possible. Well, maybe you're right. You're yeah. right, because there was a match where if he won the last game he would tie and still lose the match that, or yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know. I guess not. He was black and he tried to win. The rematch oh. was three one. Okay. But there was a game maybe the game they played that was a draw wasn't the last game. Yeah. Right, yeah, I guess I don't remember anymore. So, yeah, he had four then. So he had four, he had three, he okay. had two, and he had zero? Against Karyatkin, I mean, it was two, right? I mean, has Anand had more than four decisive games in a match? Unclear. What about, the only one would be Kramnik, right? Because Topolov was, uh, I guess, 3-1. Yeah, it used to be a lot more decisive games because yeah. the World Championships used to be 700 games. And they also used to be, like, yeah. not necessarily the best player. Yeah, so they were just <laughs> lots of wins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, of... Fabi's never been so mad. He's like, I could draw this with either color. And also, I'm better than Jan. That's, he also said that. Yeah, Karyakin won a game, but then Magnus won the next game. Mm -hmm. It was much like when uh, Galfan won, but Anand won the next game. It, the, the funniest match, you know, if you find these funny, is Anand Kasparov at the World Trade Center. That was funny. Is They played eight draws. Not for Anand. Anand won the ninth game, and then, that was, then Kasparov won like every other game. It yeah. was weird. I think he won four games of the next six. Yeah. And then Anand made that one move blunder in the dragon and resigned to the right, end right. game. Yeah. It was crazy he played the dragon, though. Did they draw 30 games in a row once? No. That ridiculous. That doesn't sound quite right. No. I've never, never been so mad. You know, but they did draw a lot in a row, but I don't know, about 30. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of a the lot. The engine slightly prefers white after this. But it says this and this are all zeros. So the thing for Jan is, Jan's going to see this, okay? And then he has to decide 
about this position. And if he's if he's does great analysis in his head from this position, he'll do this and the game will end in a draw. But it's possible some people will just go, okay, I'm not analyzing this anymore. Because, like, I lost a pawn, this pawn's passed, this rook's on the seventh, this pawn's weak, yeah. he has luffed. But after this is just a dead draw. These, all these pawns are absurd. Yeah. I mean, there's no way. I think Jan can see that. I don't think there's another line. I don't think White can deviate from that line. So. After all these captures, yeah. it was pretty forced. I mean, you don't play knight takes d5? Insane. Yeah. Right. And then here, if you don't play rook e7, I'm going to take black here. Three weak pawns and a passed pawn. What else? I mean, yeah. You can play other moves. You can play rook a4 and rook e4, yeah. but the engine Passive would rather have black yeah. there. Well, rook a4 I might play, but I wouldn't want to play rook e4 because I want to play rook e7. Yeah. The, the problem is, if you play if you play either of these moves... The only way white can do anything is to play rook e7. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I can't take this pawn. And if I play rook a4 and I move again, this is the same line. It's knight here, knight takes, rook here. Yeah, it's the same draw. The same deviled egg. Yeah, but it wants black to play here to improve his position a little. What if you play rook e7, knight f8, rook, and then rook a4 without taking the pawn? Ninety six. If nice. you ever take the pawn, I'll go here, and then win this. And then, you know, this is all ridiculous. 96, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, after this, the engine plays that because it's funny. Ooh. Yeah. Not too funny. Yeah, then after stopping me, yeah. then it goes here. No, I could see I could playable. see Black winning this, except or he, would, he wouldn't. But, I mean, I'd rather have Black here. I mean, the, the, the engine's doing this no. to draw. Yeah, I'd rather have Black here for sure. Yeah, after rook takes here, this rook's terrible. It's there are also mate threats, actually. Rook yeah. b1, check, king h2, rook h3, mate. Yeah, that's why I'd rather have black. Yeah. yeah. No, the king is weak, right? No, this is white yeah. forcing a draw with that stupid thing I showed you. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's still time for the game to look, be exciting. Look, look, look at this line, Spence. Will draw. Look, look at this line. Because... Uh, Which is a draw, right? Right. But that's right, a really right. cool line. You yes, take this, I double take this. A trick. Yeah. You take this, I go here, and this is a draw. Engine says all zeros, even though white's what? up. White's up like two pawns. I can take and play rook. Right. Still, still all zeros. Ninety two. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, king. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, this, this is no good. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to get this. King's no good. Just walk into the discovery This is checks. like the Foyzor <laughs> Zenyuk game or Zenyuk Foyzor game. I, I remember. I remember she checked the yeah. king up and the king ran yeah. up. Yeah, if the knight ever moves, you're going to lose this pawn. And if my king gets here, you're going to get checkmated. And if I take this pawn, I'm going to be better. This pawn's useless. Yeah. This is so good for black that even down two pawns, it's he's not worse. Of course, that's black trying to win with king f8. Right, king right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 So Jan is thinking a long time because here's what Jan's thinking. Arby. Should I go here and play for a win? Uh -huh. Okay. And he's like, I don't know. I'm black against Magnus and it's prep, so maybe I shouldn't. World championship match. And then if I go here, there's like no other. I mean, this is just like forced. Here, 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 here. And, I mean, there's just no way white's going to win. So it's funny because... This is like deep prep by Magnus, and Jan's probably figuring out, should I play for a win or take this draw? Yeah. It's very suspicious prep. Yeah, frankly ridiculous. Yeah. It's like my kind of prep, prep to a worth position. I do that a lot, actually. Then my opponent doesn't know it. Yeah, he's just choking on his rage. He's like, I want to play for a win, but, you know, I'm black in the world championship. Yeah. This is still Magnus's prep. Playing for a win's weird. He says, but I'm, but I'm Jan. I play for a win. That's what I do. I mean, winning with black is uh, would really take the wind out of his sails, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, not that Magnus has a lot of wind in his sails right now. Mm -hmm. But any wind that was there, it's gone if he loses it. I'm trying to figure out why bishop here... Oh, I know why. If I play bishop f8, you play knight e3. Yeah. If I play bishop b8, you don't play knight e3. Agreed. Because your bishop's hanging. Yeah. But he's not going to go there because that's weird. Boo. 
It is pretty weird. Like, if you went there and it was a bad move, they'd be like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. And then if his bishop went here and he put a pawn here, that would be, and then put something here, that would be Kasparov's sting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly Kasparov's sting. He the did take it. Yeah. The bishop was here, and then black had a pawn here and white had pawns here. You can look it up on the internet because the game's in chessgames.com. Kasparov sting. Yeah, so he's just going for the force draw line yeah. because you don't become 2,800 playing force because you can't see 50 moves ahead. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like this is still Magnus's prep. He just doesn't want to play on his birthday. I don't know. It's very confusing to Jan. Jan's like, this is an easy draw. Why is Magnus playing instantly and we're drawing and he's white? Like that, so Jan's like, what's happening? What am I missing? And the answer is nothing. Well, what so, are you going to do against the Petrov? Not, not only does this draw, this also draws. It's tough to uh, play for a win with white against the Petrov. He might go here. But still some home. game left, though. They'll have to play accurately for a few more moves. This move is nonsensical, but it's still like, you know, not winning for white. You guys think that Magnus should prepare to win every game? Yeah. I, I agree. would agree with that. Yeah. What if they both prepare to win every game? Man, oh, be, yeah, that one would happen. Man, that would be <laughs> tough. Yeah, how come uh, Magnus, I mean, Nepo is not prepping a win with Black? Yeah. That's what's weird to me. Does Magnus know this position? He's playing like he does. Yeah, it's possible. He's playing super fast. It's move 23. Because all of Black's moves were engine recommended. Yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, he played G4 instantly, Knight G2 instantly. But he played all these moves instantly. Yeah, this is very, very strange. This is Geary esque preparation. He's yeah. white and he's preparing for he's prepped to a draw. That's very strange. Now, can white play for a win with the following? I just made a lineup. Okay. Which is knight e seven check. And then C six. And then here and the engine says black's winning. Damn, tough engine. It says like everything wins for black. Damn. I guess this pawn can't go anywhere, and this is protecting yeah, the best, yeah. and this is weak. Yeah, it says knight f6 attacking this pawn, the knight blockades. Yeah. Yeah, this is just, yeah, this is this is the worst. Uh, it's terrible. I call that the accordion pawn structure. Yeah, my knight has f4. King's no good. This pawn's weak. This pawn's great. This pawn stopped. Yeah, okay. I was trying to play for a win, but then I lost, so... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So these moves both draw handily, frankly. And um, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the, you know, the Fabi's like, well, what's happening? Why, why isn't Magnus trying to win? Hey, Rufus. 500 cents to do. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to draw. Knight F8. They're going to play this draw, too. Like, it's going to happen one way or another because the match is fixed. Yes. <laughs> the greatest genius ever. Probably is fixed. But that was the greatest joke of all time. Yeah, that's all right. What? They don't even get it. You got it. So you don't <laughs> yeah, think it's yeah. that funny. Come on, who would, say, who would make such a... Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for Rook D8, Rook takes D7. Exclam. Yeah. yeah. It says Magnus can play Knight F6, Knight B6, Rook AE1, and they're all, all zeros. Because white's going to do this irrespective. Yeah. Check, 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 check. And if black moves the king somewhere else, then white has good winning chances. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very confused by all of this. I don't understand why Magnus did this if it's just such an easy draw. Right. I mean, he, he Jan took 30 minutes to draw this game with black. Yeah, yeah. It is and, weird. And also, in, in, in some positions, it was like, this is equal, this is equal, this is equal. And the engine actually liked black a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so Magnus is choking on his rage. Yeah, he's he's not happy. He's like, what kind of prep is this? Who are my seconds? And the answer, and the answer is random Norwegian guys. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Dubov and Karyakin and Kramnik and Korshnoi and Karpov and Chagorin. And other Russian players, Boleslavsky, etc. See, Bondarevsky doesn't get any credit because it sounds similar to Boleslavsky, who was slightly better. Just slightly, <laughs> just slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Magnus did play a lot of bullet to prep for this. 
That's true. On Leech has. Yeah. Yeah, this is more than 100% going to be a draw. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. more than 100%. Press conference will be interesting. Right. Well, Dubov is Russian, so I guess he's working with Nepo. I also thought he might have been working with Magnus, actually, because they work together, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, he said he wouldn't work with Magnus this particular match. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Do they have Baklava in Dubai? Yes. Very confidently, yes. They have everything in Dubai and then some. Yeah. The Russians are in cahoots. Yes. Was there a recap recently? I recap all the games right after the games. You can go to YouTube and see a recap of all the games. Wow, Dubov was working with Magnus when he was playing Karyak, and I didn't know that. If true. Okay, so this was a Petrov. And you can play knight c3 or d3, and some, or, I'm sorry, d4. And some people play queen e2, d3, bishop d3. But d4 is the most common. Here you can play bishop e7 and knight c6 and bishop g4. But he played the line I used to play. Yeah. The other game where I played Jim Marfia in 1982, and, no. then I, and then I sacked a rook and his king ran up the board and I made it. Um, I've shown that game more than once. Maybe. Anyway, that. that was this position. And yeah. he, Marfia played c4. I checked and he played here. Oh. Yeah, that's how that game started. Just so you know. No wonder he ran his kicker out. Yeah. Yeah, and here knight c3s was more common when I was playing the Petrov than this. This was the more common move. I don't now I don't know. Um Yep, and this is just all prep. And if you take this, it seems like after queen d7, black is completely it, equal. At least okay, yeah. Yeah, cuz if you trade and play here, the engine says this is a dead draw. Um, and if you take the rook, the engine says black is close to winning here because the queen's trapped. And after c5, we go here. And even though black's up a piece, since this piece is semi-trapped, it only says it's winning, not completely winning. But still, you know, black. So Magnus played his prep, which was to take on c3. Queen d6. Uh, B B6. And this is still like the line that Fabi was giving before. Mm-hmm. And you can't play queen takes d5 because bishop h2 check. And then uh, you could also play rook b1 here, but this is still his prep. Yeah, and now the engine wants to take that pawn because it doesn't like this pawn being passed and protected. And, and it says that you that's have equal. to take on Passant, right? That's the rule. Yeah, and, it's, and then it says knight takes, knight c7, draw greed. But, okay, he played this prep, new move, threatening here. Then here, he wants to play knight here, knight here. Jan literally didn't care. And they traded everything. And now we have this position. And the engine says it's a dead draw. It says it doesn't matter what white does. What's going to happen in the end is either now or in three or four moves, white's going to perpetual with his knight. Knight check, king here, knight check, king here. And black doesn't want to give up his f pawn, so he's got to do that. And if white doesn't do that, then, you know, three weak pawns and past a pawn. Hey, Indo. And How's knight, it going? the knight's got e6. If you take this trying to win immediately, you can't save your b pawn, your d pawn, your g pawn. So once again, the engine wants to play this, this perpetual check here and so oh, forth. Leonard, that would lose the rook for knight. Yeah. So shouldn't do that. So, I mean, I, this is a very weird game. Magnus plays prep, 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 and then agrees to a draw. That's yeah. I mean, you know, Giri and Rajabov are proud of white. Right. Uh, this is one reason why Anand said that it wouldn't be E4 on, in game two. I don't think he said that for this game. Because, you know, it's very difficult to, to play for a win if black plays certain openings, like the Petrov. <clears throat> He played something that was weird, but it wasn't particularly difficult to equalize, it seemed. Pretty boring, Indo. There's a lot of prep, and it'll probably be a draw pretty quickly. Yeah. The only thing I can say in Magnus's defense is, happy birthday to the ground. 
Right. So, you know, that's, that's the kind of analysis he, that Fabi says a lot. Can't buy me a hot dog, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's not a phone. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's possible he prepared it for black and got confused, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this right. is like the manager in Pulp Fiction of the restaurant. There's no problem. You got no problem. Mm-hmm. Come on, just give him what he wants and get him out. Shut the F up, fat man. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> what a great scene. Yeah, you can't trust the system. <clears throat> That's the moral of the story. You can't trust the system. What if it's system of a down? Right. No. Well, then it would be a, a Levon Aronian. <laughs> this game is like a car who's terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I am just a coffee shop. We right. did say a mean thing about Danny. I forgot what it was. I mean, he but... said coffee shop manager, but yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Napo would be wasting his own time then. <laughs> Magnus Darper. choking on his rage. He's like, I can't get an advantage with White after preparing the first 23 moves. Damn. Harsh. Yeah, I mean, probably Magnus playing like an old man in this game because this is the oldest he's ever been. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I can't believe how old he is. Well, I mean, yeah, Magnus would be a favorite in, in Rapid, but it's close. Napo's really good at, at fast time control. This is, not only is it Magnus's birthday, but it's the last day of our chess center, November 30th. Getting out today. Oh. That's why all that stuff was in the car. That makes sense. Yeah. King H8, then Rook here. So don't, 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 after this, don't undefend your pawn. Right. Not good. Yeah. Ah, uh, but you could play King G7 and then King H8. Well, but when I move my knight, like knight here, then you yeah, knight anywhere, right. you can't defend this. Yeah, right. Even knight F6, I mean, you know, so it's, there's no way to win for either player. Now that they've stopped analyzing the game, and they're analyzing knight C3 instead of uh, instead of D4. See, now that's good. Ah, oh, they went knight back. C3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like, all yeah, right, yeah, this yeah. is a draw. He should have played knight C3. <laughs> that's what I like to which play. Which is also a draw. Yeah. Should have played one d4. Now we're talking. See, knight h4, he tried to play a novelty and he failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Yeah. I do yeah. like knight c3, though. Yeah, they're back to knight c3. Five, yeah. Good analysis. Yeah, yeah. Knight c3 and takes it. Also, bishop f5, just kidding. X climb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nepo's prep. I mean, maybe he did prepare knight h4. Is that possible he's no. playing so quickly i guess he was just very confident mm. oh yeah why not knight f6 then d5 then your knight gets captured All right king takes f6 yeah your knight's attacked and your pawn's attacked well so, maybe you could check and then play it well then it's uh, hanging oh not e really not e5. really five Right, I can't take yeah, it, but every move is equal. Playable. Yeah. It, what, this is an idea. Uh, this is an idea. And I don't understand h6. After this move or this move, it repeats and draws. <laughs> Just funny. Let's say I play d6 because I said so. Right. Then here and white resigns itself. Uh, letting the knight out of the cage, Man. despite all his rage. <laughs> uh -huh. He's still just a knight in a cage. Yeah, I guess if I play king f8 here, your knight's attacked. And then when you move it, I take this and you resign. Yeah, this is very bad for white, this position. If Magnus has a heart attack, does Nepo become world champion? Well, I don't think he would necessarily die if he had a heart attack. Yeah, you just keep playing. Yeah, it just yeah. offers a draw. Yeah. That's uh, Anatoly Lane offered a draw when he had a heart attack during a game. Uh -huh. He actually twice did that, I heard. Terrible. Stop having so many heart attacks, dude. Yeah, you got yelled at for offering so many draws. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the directors were tough but fair. That's too funny. Uh, and he was like, but no, be quiet. I'm the director. I'm your director. Yeah. I always have a heart attack. After my fourth heart attack. 
I told him about Fat Abbott because right. it's so good. That is good. Yeah. If I knew my opponent was having a heart attack, I probably would refuse the draw. I'm trying to win, <laughs> you know. How come he has to have a fatal heart attack? Why can't he just die some other way? It has to be a heart attack. You mean if he right. dies in a car crash, that's different? Yeah. Than what if, he's if a it's fatal like by some voodoo or something? Yeah. This is why Scottish Demon Goat is banned. Yeah. Or, or, or what if like something falls from the the floor above them, but only crushes Magnus? <laughs> I think if Ma I think if Magnus dies while he's world champion, they'll have a six player. Quintuple round robin. Oh, yeah, that's who the world champion is. And somehow the winner will be Botvinik. It's weird. Alberto. Yay, DC 66. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, this game was less exciting, uh, although Magnus is thinking for a while here for some reason. Mm -hmm. He's probably still in his prep, even. <laughs> That's true, Dan. We would feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the players want to play Title Tuesday later. That's why they're drawing so Oh, quickly. that's smart. Yeah. That's pretty smart. Yeah, maybe that's true about Ali Reza. But maybe he'll make it even more boring. This guy says he should win because he's higher rated. Then he said if a 1500 plays a 1600, the 1600 just wipes him out. That's what that guy said. What? Wait, sorry, if a 1500 plays... The 1600, 1600, we don't know which one's which. Is that what you meant? All right. What? I mean, they take turns blundering until one of them, like, you know, has to go to the bathroom and loses on time. Hey, it's Corblaw. They've decided the game is boring. Let's go to Corblaw. He is more interesting than the game. And so on. <laughs> right, Magnus will draw, and then Nako will win all of his games, huh. and therefore being the better player. That's a good point. Well, he it's it's not really worse, so you know he's got a protected past a pawn. Yeah, Magnus choking on his own rage because it's such an easy draw for Black. Right. See, Magnus was hoping he was playing one of you guys, and as Spencer pointed out, Rook D8, Rook D7, Papa John's. Right. <clears throat> that would be embarrassing. Yeah. That's what he was expecting. But after 9 F8, he's like, what? And now he has to think forever and draw. Right. Well, Gotham Chess was invited to play in the World Championship, but he had moral dilemmas there. Oh. He didn't. He he'd win too easily. So mm -hmm. it's like Rain Man going in the casino. There there would be more decisive games if Gotham Chess was playing. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, there would be more decisive mm -hmm. games. That's true. Why isn't Ma why Magnus isn't dominating like Kasparov used to be? Well, they're uh, different people. I also don't think Kramnik would agree with that. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're different people. So you, that question's weird. All right. Also. Kasparov was down 5-0 to zero against Karpov in the first match, and after 5-3, they stopped it. Right. <laughs> Every other match, Kasparov won by one point or drew. So that's not dominating too much. And then against Kramnik, he didn't win any games, which I predicted and won a bet on. I mean... Right. I would say that, you know, Kasparov was a much, was better, you know, in tournaments. Obviously. Right. Kasparov dominated tournaments yeah. much better than Magnus does, by the way. Wow. And most people say yeah. that's because theory and Magnus can't win because of theory. Well, yeah, Kasparov was way ahead of his time in mm -hmm. preparing the opening. Yeah. I mean, people nowadays, they do like what Kasparov did, and he was the only one doing it. And he was way ahead of the, the, the curve there. Carlson plays more like Karpov, where he grinds you down and wins yeah. slightly better positions. And Kasparov would grind you down by taking all your pieces. And sacking and mating. All right, Kasparov would just try to blow you off the board and usually yeah. succeed, especially with white. Mm -hmm. Nothing all, succeeds like excess. Oh. But, um, yeah, it's it's not, uh, you're not as likely Here to Here comes the draw. Them. He's got to play knight f6, and then he's like, I can't, this is oh, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I could see his body yeah, movement yeah. was knight f6. Right, right, right. And he's like, ugh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. I'll dye my hair again. Don't worry about that, Matt. <laughs> Thank you, Otter. It's like conflicting, uh, conflicting, you know, chats right after the other.
Yeah. So what else you guys are saying? No, I think Karpov wanted the match stopped at 85. Yeah. He had just lost two games in a row, and the match had been going on for six months, and he was tired. Mm-hmm. He wasn't mad, but Kasparov was. Right. Kasparov's like, I just won two games in a row. Why are you stopping the match? Like yeah, if we yeah. drew If we drew 20 games, 30 games in a row, okay, but I just won two in a row. Yeah. This is the last time you should mm-hmm. stop right. the match. Yeah. He just, I mean, Karpo, Karpov was exhausted and didn't want to play anymore. And mm-hmm. him and Campomanius were like, that son. All right. So then he's like, all right, we'll just play again. You'll lose the next time. But you know what's weird about that match? Like Karpov, when he was up 5-0, he got it in his mind that he should just not lose a game. Mm-hmm. So he played like super solid. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Like, let's say you win 6-0, but it's 94 draws. Mm-hmm. That's worse than like winning 6-1. With zero draws, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but to Car to was like, no, I can't lose a game. I have to win six zero, and then he never won a game after that. So not the best, uh, not the best oh, strategy. I'll be tired when I'm old, yeah. <laughs> the truth hurts. Well, he's <laughs> he called it, <laughs> predicted, yeah. Yeah, Danny Wrench said after this game, Magnus will retire. Yeah, right, Wrench right. is tough, yeah. but fair. Yeah. Yeah, the truth hurts. That's true, drum stuck, I guess. Malafe ninety three subscribe. Good, good. Well, it seems like sixty percent is kind of arbitrary, but you know. Yeah, players. every move is equal. It doesn't matter what white does. Knight f six and knight. E8 draw immediately, so he'll probably do that. Yeah. He's had enough. All right, let's see who the first person is to donate 50 subs. Try to be first. Yeah. Magnus said Kasparov offered too many draws. It doesn't mm-hmm. seem like something Magnus would say. Well, maybe. Hmm. My wife took my credit card. That's right. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Man, now that Shad is getting like before the game started. Mm-hmm. Harsh. It's the oldest world champion, Lasker. Your mother? Oh yeah, Lasker. King G7 is the only move that makes sense after night check. These things are quicker and quicker. It's Karen. No, no, I don't think Magnus is too boring. I mean, there are plenty the, of more boring players like so, Botfinick. Karen, this is a very strange game. Yeah. Magnus played instantly every move, and he has all this prep. Uh-huh. And he played a new move, and... Yeah, I was like, all right. Hi, Karen. And then they kept playing prep. Like, every move, yeah, Magnus move instantly. Uh, it's just dead draw. Yeah, so but, he, but Spassky so isn't world champion he, he currently. He prepared to, like, a dead draw. And now he's sitting there choking on his rage. Oh, uh, could you do a review? Because I had I some... did do a review. Oh, and darn. I'm going to do another review when the game's over. So but I'll do I... a third review. <laughs> so it was your favorite opening. What's that opening called? Uh, Petrov. Right. Rus- the Russian or Petrov. No, yeah. yeah. Well, you got I... both of them. Damn. I know some stuff. Did you go to the chess club? <laughs> I did. Wow. I, I loaded up. You don't look haggard at all. You're looking good. I, um, I thought you'd look haggard because all oh, the chess club. Yeah. I loaded up um, a bunch of stuff, but. Thanks, race for the prize for the five subs. Yay. Okay. So the, I used to play the Petrov before you were born, mm-hmm. and this is the one that I played with black. In this position, most of the super GMs for many years were playing knight c6 and bishop e7. But I always play bishop d6. So mm-hmm. I've had this position many times mm-hmm. in like 1989, 1990, 1991. I was supposed to try the Russian, okay. but I never did. Now in this position, in this position <laughs> yeah, white can <laughs> play rook e1 or knight c3. Still when I was moves. playing the Petrov, knight c3 was more common. Yeah. He played this. And then they played very quickly this position mm-hmm. with trading everything. Yeah, if you take this, then queen d7, and your queen can get trapped if you take that. So this is, I mean, Magnus played instantly every move here with white. And I'll show you what his novelty was. 
you can't take this because of your favorite, you know, trap and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... So the engine wants to take on Poisson, but possibly Magnus doesn't. So in this position, Magnus quickly played a move that's never been played before. The engine really wants to take that because that's a protected pass pawn. Mm -hmm. Played here because always play knife f5. So you think this this many moves, there's, he's still in prep? Definitely. He's like at the beginning of his prep. Yeah, yeah he moved instantly. Wow. Yeah. You and I have prepared more than 18 moves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I okay. So g6. Oh, okay. Now he instantly sure played g4. He mm -hmm. wants to get his knight to some square that attacks this pawn. Mm -hmm. Then this pawn's attacked. Not easy to defend in an aggressive way. These moves are very passive. Mm -hmm. So he played here. He played instantly, too. Yeah, the answer just says this is a dead draw. Now, after here, if you're playing like a blitz game against a low-rated player, they would play here, losing immediately to a puzzle rush trick. Yeah. What's that? White's so you, to play and win. Um, There's a double question mark, but he didn't do that. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it. Go, Karen. He played knight f6, I think. Oh, I think I see the knight on f6. Um, They're going to agree to a draw before you answer it. Darn. Long quick before it's a draw. Well, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pressured. Good. Come on, if you don't get this right... Oh, I see it. Oh. Rook takes d7. Right. And, and got it. Now you're knight a hero. F6 okay, so, so he played knight f8, <laughs> and then Magnus thought forever here. Now, in this position, if we take, which is the normal-looking move, yeah. then here, and you, you can't save anything. You can't, I mean, your pawns are all hanging. Yeah. So white still draws, because white gives this perpetual, which he's going to give now. And then you can't, like, move your king somewhere else because then you're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Darn. So what went wrong? What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. He prepared. I mean, chess is a draw, and he prepared a line, and black just drew easily. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. It wasn't necessarily that, very testing. That I looks guess. like Potkin. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right? Yeah, Potkin's all smiles. He's never smiled yeah, so yeah. much. Well, I mean, just the fact that he allows a perp you know, gets into his mm -hmm. position where there's a perpetual. Yeah, if he doesn't perpetual, he's lost because this pawn's no good, this pawn's no good, this pawn's no good, this is queen. Well, he was hoping Napo made a mistake in the first 25 moves, which he didn't. When he was thinking last what move after knight f8, they showed, like, move four, how he could have played another line. Like oh, the five So if he five, doesn't, actually. if he doesn't <laughs> perpetual him, then what's... Happens. Then Black will win. Yeah, because Black's got that protected past eight. Thanks, pawn. Empiric 99. Oh, and see. thanks for the train. Darn. And all White's pawns are weak. I so didn't even notice the train. Really play the position. Oh, I Empiric see. Empiric 99 gave five. If you don't believe me, there's the Empiric evidence. Nice. <laughs> yeah. His mistake was playing E4. All right, one E4. Do be says some trying to learn. Race for the prize gift and a sub. He was racing to see who would give subs. Race for the prize also gave five subs. Go then he gave one prize. subs. Keep Who's going to give 50 subs confusing Karen? Karen's back. So we've had 11 subs since Karen showed up. Nice. Yeah. Karen and before, should leave and then come back again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and get more, 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 more. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. Mo, mo, mo. Hey, this light came on. Is yeah, it, it goes on and on. Show Karen. Yeah, there's something wrong with him. He, like, just did, yeah. It was oh, crazy. no, so I think there's something yeah. wrong. Well, you're, you're missing this perpetual yeah. check, Karen. Oh. You came just, just in time. Yeah. For the game to end? Right, right, right. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Spence? Uh, I'm ready. Rook takes d4. Rook takes e8, Rook takes e8, takes, and it's still a draw. Yeah, I thought about that. Yeah, but black's not black better. shouldn't be worse, though, because yeah, a5 is so good. Yeah, that's if he plays wants to play for a win. But uh, he could do that. Yeah, but he's not going to do that. No, I mean, maybe if the situation... Even king is here's a draw, because then when you... You know, if you take, you take this. Then when white stops it, you go back. Yeah, but you said knight c7. <laughs> you, we talked about that. You said knight c7. Yeah, but that's still a draw. Right. Hey, thank you for those um, words, Stevie. We're sorry about the chess center closing, too. Oh, yeah. Why? Well, Come on, hype train. I said. Boo. Boo, hype train. My baby. 50 yeah. subs. I thought the dogs were your babies. I wish I'd taken more pictures before we cleared out the lecture room. <laughs> yeah. Take some pictures today. You know. What is beautiful? Jan's oh, deciding beautiful. whether to play for a win, then he'll no decide not what to. They say. I was actually doing a different song. Oh. 
It was Boobly. Michael Boobly. Oh. So this move isn't given, but I don't know why. Maybe H4 is annoying? So, no, H4 is not annoying. Oh. Oh. So D5 is the best. What? Yeah. Let's see. Then if you take it, then bam. Gotcha, bitch. I didn't see that. Oh, <laughs> snap. I was wondering what the point was. I was trying to, like, fork mm -hmm. the king and rook. Yeah, so those are yeah like I was king looking over that way, so yeah, I didn't. Yeah, he played king g8, and now they're going to draw. Yeah. If he doesn't want to draw, he can play rook here. Then after it takes, he can draw. Yay, thank you. The problem with d5 here. is if he ever plays d6, after rook d8, knight e6, black's winning. Right, we saw that too. That yeah. one's not dangerous, but that one is. And knights can get attacked by the king. Yeah, yeah. basically white has uh, like a long-term problem and needs to do something in the short term. But all he can do is perpetual. He can't do anything else productive. He might play d5 because it's embarrassing to draw. So you know, play some move that doesn't draw. I don't think he'll mind. It's he, He'll posture a bit like he can play for a win. But he will eventually just repeat. Yeah, after like the interim moves, White still does that and draws. If yeah. they do other moves, it's like all right. Thanks, anonymous yeah. cheerer. Mm -hmm. No, we need four subs so we can get to level five. Does I hope, is that a joke, Ninchum? Now come on. After King H8, the knight I moves away. Then your pawn's yeah. attacked. Like knight F6, so you defend it, and it's the same draw, the same deviled egg. And we already said that. Rawr. You can't be that behind. The St. Louis Chess Alive. Center did close down. That's correct. I think it's a joke. It's got to be a joke. No. No, it's got to be. No. You can't be that behind. They think that I work in St. Louis. <laughs> they think we own it. Somebody even <laughs> asked if you lived in Michigan, so the other stream. Right, yeah. I guess some people don't tune in very much. <laughs> Except for one thing, right? Magnus pretending to think about the position. Yeah, if Magnus plays here, he can play here later. Yeah. He can do, like, any move, right? He can play, like, King G2, like any normal move. Yeah, as long as he plays Knight F6. No, maybe not, because then Knight F6, he, the black could try to <laughs> yeah, avoid Yeah, rook, rook takes is probably good. <laughs> yeah, yes, we're the same field family, Because my right? king can move away. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As long as I don't have to look like the sing for family. Okay, okay. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Come on, this is like a world championship stream, and you guys are, you know, uh, it's so uncouth. That was pretty uncouth. It's the most uncouth. Yeah. Have some class, like me. All right. Uh -oh. All right. Yeah, Karen's like school in July. Mm -hmm. No class. No class. No. I got class. Mm -hmm. Jk. What's the word? You do light up. Light, light up. Room. Light up. What's the word? You do oh, what? Yeah. You do something. I civilize, civilize every room that I go into. Yeah, I never, you know. Sasha Chapin, yeah. Chapin said it. <laughs> he also said I'm a Southern Belle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said I was like Taco Bell. People don't really right. say that anymore. What, Taco Bell? Southern Belle. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty just, old school. It's quaint. It's quaint. He's Canadian. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't call you a hockey stick or something. Mm -hmm. Or a broom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, frankly ridiculous. You, I can see this and I agree. The, the problem... What are you agreeing to, Indo Queen? The, the problem is... <laughs> right. With, Southern Bell. With um, D5 is... White can't do anything to win, so he's only right. risking losing. He can't play d6 because yeah. 96 would be too Yeah, good. I mean, he's going to draw like this, and if he never That's does it. that, he'll just lose because this is no good, this is no good, this is no good, and this is good. Right. So, right, I mean, White's, White, his own White's actually lucky to draw here. Yeah. If White doesn't do this eventually and Black stops, it, White, Black's going to win because these are ridiculous. <clears throat> like, yeah. This is not ridiculous. God damn. Yeah, yeah, this is White fighting for a draw. Yeah, I am quite the Southern Belle. <laughs> Cultured, manners, That's well right. read. St. Louis Chess Club moving to LA to be closer to the Rams. That makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Magnus. Just play Knight F6 already. Black can lose on purpose by losing the F pawn, but he's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So what is um, the holdup if that's what's going to happen here? Magnus, Magnus might play d5, which is also a draw, because he'll do this later. Yeah, well, that's all right. Uh, 
He, he can he can take on e8 and take the deep on yes but it's, it's not necessarily good for black there yay 200 yay. centages thank you for the 200 centages no we're not closing st louis we're closing our mechanics institute and our martial <laughs> chess club. Right, right, the it's, i mean it's terrible all right and also so like in dallas there's one we're closing too maybe maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah thank, thank you fan uh, thank you fan bingo also we're closing the moscow central chess club sorry all right, right yeah right. but the sport hotel is still open so i'll have to take your word on that mm -hmm. yep so they're analyzing on the fish on the you know fobby here 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 yeah that's just gonna be good for black what I mean, the deep pawn, the deep pawn's not dangerous. That pawn stopped right. by all of his pieces, so that's not that's not scary. The only scary thing is when black wins it and then white resigns. That's actually B takes a six on Passant, not B takes a five. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering about that because well, you you're you on are, the square you land on. Yeah, but that's you are taking is. this. No, because what if there's a pawn on B four and B five? Well, then one wouldn't be on Passant. Well, but, okay, you write EP mm -hmm. on your score sheet? Do usually. Do I don't do that. Yeah, usually. I just write BA6. Or yeah. here, I just write BA. Yeah, but if I was playing a five-year-old kid who didn't know the rules that I have to write. 500 cent to do's. Well, no, I mean, even then. 100 cent to do. <laughs> Only if the uh, arbiter was a five-year-old kid who didn't he know said, the rules. <laughs> he said the Four Seasons Total Landscaping Chess Club is closing. I saw that. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> 300 cent to do's. Hooray. Vichy is showing knight f6, king g7, g5 line. Oh, thank you, Rufus Blender. All these ways for white to play for a win are just risking losing. There's no way ever to win. Because how you does could, g5 help? You could lose, but you can't win. How does g5 help at all? Right. You just There's no there's no winning idea. There's just white giving perpetual or black winning. Yay, thank you for this. So, um, Magnus can give perpetual now, or I'll give one later. And Calium bits. sorbet. And if white black stops... The, oh, the perpetual a, attack. On a breath. <laughs> if black, if if white gets an attack, uh, and and black prevents it, and he's gonna lose all his points, he's gonna yeah, lose. Yeah, so there's, yeah. I mean, it's silly oh, to play yeah, for I a see. win when you're just playing for a loss. Yeah, those pawns are no good. Yeah, there's no mate. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. and that's know. why Anon's analyzing it because there's Vishwa nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. We missed some uh, centuries there. Let me go back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I couldn't see the name. Thank you, Matt. Galthon for the 500 centuries. Go up because somebody, somebody. No, no, we, we saw we the We thanked sub. them. We got the Colium. Jackie's what? Cafe. Jackie. Thank you for the 300 no, below centuries. Below that, Bowser. I did. Yeah. I said this one. Yay. Thanks again, Calium Sorbet. 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 Yeah, do it again so I can see it again. They're drawing like I do one of my yeah. French girls. We're thinking of keeping the Marshall Chess Club <laughs> and then we'll just get rid of the mechanics in St. Louis. Yeah. That's what we're thinking of doing. <laughs> but considering yeah. it's the lowest quality one, keep that. Mm -hmm. See Jordy McShort Jorts. He's referring to ballroom blitz. That's true. Mm -hmm. So he did go d5. Boo! And then Nepo's pretending to take the pawn. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh gotcha! Right. Well, knight f6. Right? Hey, somebody said oh, my yeah, name is Donkey Bar. Yeah. An anagram for donkey. He's given a lot of anagrams. Most of them were uh, salacious in nature. Is there an anagram generator? Sound? Yes. All right, probably. Sure. Yeah. Of course. To There's no it... way he's figuring it all right. out. Yeah. <laughs> donkey boar. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> donkey bar. Bar. So A4 is equal and rook D8 is equal. Hey, it's fine. H6 is okay if you don't like G5, etc. Is that Casper? So now if white gets two moves in a row, he'll play rook c1, rook c7, and he literally won't care about queening with check because he'll probably mate first. I don't know how he's going to mate first. Yeah, knight f6 rook Yeah, there you go. Yeah, as long as he mates first. Arabian mate. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So here's the engine's main line. A4, that we could always repeat. But king here for some reason. And then draw. Etc. If you don't like g5, you can play h6 here. You could also play rook d8 for safety. 
<laughs> this pawn's not dangerous, but this is dangerous if he's allowed to do it. So, you know, obviously if I queen would check, that would be bad. Yay, thank you, Searing Sky, for the 98 bits. In my country, everyone has a name. So here, who, whoever's turn it is wins, but it's right. Black's turn. So Yeah, the defends G7. Yeah, defends everything, and it's check. So there's no way. And the truth hurts. She said there was Then no after way. here, I could take that. Also, I could have taken that the yeah, previous one. Right. right, so you had to play knight check first. Yeah, then here, and mm -hmm. then if you take high queen. But I would just play rook h7 what? illegally, hoping mm -hmm. my opponent didn't notice mm -hmm. this check on my, my now, king. Right? Now, the engine move is the funniest one by far. Here, that's easily the best move. It's not even close. That's a great move. Easily. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great move. Then queen f1, right? Yeah, if you take it, the engine announces mate. Yeah. Yeah. Rook a3. That's pretty funny. Etc. Yeah. This is officially etc. Still it's theory. So a4 makes it safer for uh, him to defend against Counter this. Counterplay. Yeah. yeah. And in my opinion, I'm taking black here. I mean, that rook's better than that rook. These pawns are weak. I don't. I don't like this playing for a win. I mean, it's still a draw. Just force the draw. Yeah. Right. I mean, but yeah. I mean, he's risking. Uh, I don't see what the benefit is of, right. of this. Because you either perpetual or you lose. So I don't, I don't know why he's doing that. But I guess if he wins, it'll be good. They're like, yeah, Magnus is great. And he Magnus thought about great. it. He thought he had no chances to mm -hmm. lose. or He could always perpetual. So yeah. mm -hmm. and he's right. So what's yeah. the problem? Yeah, the end of all of these lines, even when you play G5, is just doing this. If I was playing, I'd be worried if the pawn got down here um, that... When I do this perpetual to draw, they can take it and win sometimes because the pawn's too strong. And these pawns are all weak. But I guess Magnus literally doesn't care about that. But yeah, I mean, if White's going to do this anyway, why is he letting Black try to win? But I guess he just doesn't care. He's like, I won't lose this. I'm Magnus. Oh, Mariotti Day. Huh? <clears throat> hey, how's uh, it going? You could play King H8. Uh, you could. It just hangs the F pawn. It's the only problem. Yeah, I mean, why would you hang you're, you're playing for a loss, not a win. Why are you giving yeah. this pawn away for nothing? Why? Yeah, you're, you're banned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not going to ever go here and let him play rook f7. Then it's mating attack and so forth. Mainly and so forth. Yeah, like a sample line, if you want a sample line. Right? Like, I'm just making a sample line. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, oh snap. This is still a draw. I thought it was winning, but it's still it's just a draw. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. You no. could move out the way. Man, I still, I still like white a lot. Right. This is, this is black fighting for a draw. But he has counterplay. And a sandwich. He's got counterplay, but... No, this I like is, white, yeah. Yeah, obviously white's trying to win. I mean, this is yeah. like that other game when he had a, he was down the exchange and this yeah. night was great. Yeah, this is terrible for black, but still a draw. He's got just enough to draw. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't give this away and get mated because then you're the people laugh at you. Well, that's good. The game didn't end in a draw immediately, so it's exciting for Karen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would have missed the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Jan can play rook d8. A4 or H6 to prevent your guys' G5 all the time and have an extra lift square. If rook G8, it was king F7. That's why it wasn't mate. Right. Yeah, rook here. You, you needed the pawn on F7 for it to be the mating pattern. Yeah, know. king. Yeah, by taking that, you gave me an escape square, etc. Did Nipa playing the Petrov come as a surprise? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Oh, what yeah. not, 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 not to Magnus. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what he usually plays. Oh, Mariotti Day, there aren't stupid questions, just stupid people. No, the questions are all stupid, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's hard to see things if you're lower rated. No, no, no the questions are like, did you close the St. Louis chess club? So that's, <laughs> that's, all the questions are stupid. No, but his question was about that pawn. Oh, yeah. It's hard to mm -hmm. see that if you're lower rated. Eric Rosen got very excited. Yeah, he thought it would be knight c6. All right. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't. What's more likely? Gotham Chess plays a match with Magnus in this format. And the final score seven and a half, three and a half. 
Okay. Or that Nepo played Knight C6 there, the Stafford Gambit. <laughs> Both have 0% chance. All right, I guess uh, Knight C6. Damn, that's harsh. Seven and a half, three and a half. He's... <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, I know. No but Knight C6 also. Yeah, Karen said that she would bone me, but after Knight C6, There's she no said there was no way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so forth. It's cold down here. A4, that's good. Yeah, maybe it's mm-hmm. cold inside. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to have to fix I'm guessing it's colder change. outside. But it'll be, like, not that cold today. It'll be, like, 65. Oh, yeah. For whom? 673 right. for whom? All right, all right. Mm-hmm. What's more likely, eight zero okay. or seven and a half half? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah. Hey, Archer and I might go to karaoke. Might not. And oh yeah. What Mazzies. day is it? Tuesday. Uh huh. Oh. That's the only place Archer can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sixty-five Celsius is pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Magnus might lose on time. No. In an over-the-board five-minute match on a real board, not yeah. on the internet, who's the favorite first to win ten games, Magnus, Gotham, Chess, Rook Odds? Rook Odds? Yeah. Magnus. Man, the truth hurts. I mean, if it was like Damn. minor piece odds, I might Damn. give Gotham more of a chance. Harsh. Rook Odds are kind of worse than like mm-hmm. minor piece Yeah, odds. I like to spot Rook. Both Rooks. Well, yeah, harsh. okay, I'll bet on Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> You know. mm-hmm. Yeah, did Gotham? I wonder if Gotham Chess played both of his November tournaments. I'm not sure who I bet on Gotham it's Chess. Close, or yeah, yeah. It'd be, it'd be but really like I said, like a, a, spotting a knight, mm-hmm. I would say Gotham. But a rook, probably Magnus. Damn. Seems like he did okay at one of those tournaments. Gotham? Yeah. Probably. What? His chess to, tournament? Not his super road weak. To GM. I mean, yeah, rook F3 is legal, but then we're not behind the D pawn. I like the rook here. And it's not his turn. Didn't Magnus give Lawrence Trent rook odds? That does sound right. familiar. Yeah, and it was 5-4 to four for Trent, and they stopped because Magnus said he would win 4 out of 10. Thank uh, you, Mortal Kombat. What's funny is, for the sub. before that match, it was $1,000 to the winner. Yeah. Right? Before that match, MVL played Lawrence Trent five-minute rook odds, and M- Lawrence Trent won like every game. Wow. Yeah, like MVL had no chance. I mean, I think huh. Ben's better than Gotham Chess. Even being older, but I don't know. I'm older than Gotham Chess? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, twice his age. Probably. Damn, twice his age. God <laughs> damn. Truth hurts. Tough but fair. I'd, <laughs> I would put my money on Ben. Obviously. You better win, Ben. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Frankly. No, Ben would win. Charles Le Carpentier, Rook Odds. Who would win? Twice as good. <laughs> Nupo becoming world champion is much, 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 much more likely than Gotham becoming a GM. And Spencer agrees. By a mile. I mean, yeah. I mean it's, he could become world champion right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Crazy. I remember that sad Rook Apples cause. Hey, they're showing the white rapper, a guy. You missed it. Oh, was like, you know. It was cause for glee. Mm-hmm. What if 20 million other white rappers emerge? What mm-hmm. is this rapping song I keep hearing about? Mm-hmm. Is it, um... Magnus choking on his own rage. He keeps pretending to move and then going, ah, I don't want to draw with white. Come right. on. What kind of prep is this? Mm-hmm. That's what he's thinking. Well, at least I'll have more time to pack up stuff today. The prize yeah, money yeah, is yeah, yeah. $2 million US. The winner gets 60%. And the loser gets 40, and I think Fee Day and the organizers get like 150%. V <laughs> Swizzle is asking the, the correct questions here. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, anybody can become a rapper, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am now a rapper. Right. <laughs> he wins. And it's still more likely that Nepo. Right. <laughs> Somehow. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, he wouldn't even be as good as ra- rapper as, uh, you know, the guy from uh, Succession, Kendall. Now, there's a rapper. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I think that uh, there, there should be a match, you and Levy. So well, I have to drive my Chevy? Terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it, you know, you and Levy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's probably true. Magnus like had a lot of prep for his alcohol usage today. <laughs> to, to be a good rapper, you have to be a bad rapper. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, bad means good. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So. It can kind of be like pog mm-hmm. champs. We could have yeah. Hikaru could coach the levy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, Fabi could coach. Is Logic better at chess yeah. than Levy is at rapping? Yeah, that's a good one. That is a probably, good probably. Yeah. The, another question that's better is: Is Logic better at chess or rapping? That's a, another question. Oh snap! And so forth. I like Logic's rap about Noop Noop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, How can he's a you great beat character. up Levy when Levy is 26? Levy bad. Well, I'm double his age, so I have more experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're both millionaires after this match, but Magnus wasn't a millionaire before. <laughs> Harsh. <clears throat> right. Yeah, Logic um, did raid Ben. Hikaru coaches, and I coach Logic. Where's the Logic in that? Well, I did see that video that Levy made. It wasn't real clear, but he's a pretty successful streamer and YouTuber. Who, Logic? <laughs> so the big news Stop is so one of the top to Twitch guys. Yeah. Uh, not XQC, the other one. Ludwig or Ludwig. Yeah, I heard of him. He's left Twitch and now only oh, okay. YouTube. Oh, he did? Uh, yeah, what? that's the big news. Oh, today? Yesterday. Oh, why did he leave Twitch? I don't know. I'd want to leave Twitch too, but he won't let me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Twitch is evil. Uh, so yeah. does he stream on YouTube? Is yeah, right. Okay. I guess YouTube isn't evil except for one person. I don't like right, the right, YouTubers. Right. Yeah? Dang. Shots I, fired. I like Twitch better. I, edit this out of the YouTube. All right. Yeah. I, don't like YouTube. I don't like the YouTubers. Yeah. I don't, they, I'm they more drove, of a YouTube boy, personally. They drove a dump truck full of money up to his house. Right, so, right. So, you know. Yeah. Because you got YouTube got rid of the dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the that's way to true. do it. He had so much potential. That's funny. won't people just make a comment that says dislike, and then people will like the comment. Mm-hmm. So therefore, you're a genius of the highest caliber. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. YouTube Thank you. gave him a better deal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ludwig st- is also my favorite of uh, Bowser's children. I still don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't either. I say Ludwig. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I guess Ludwig is like a German. I don't even know his real him. name, or if he has a real name. I don't know nothing about him. I just know that he left to watch. Roy YouTube. is not greater than Ludwig. Oh, he'll get thirty million dollars. Well, that's a good reason. Yeah, taxes terrible. All right. <laughs> yeah. I personally like the dislikes, but I got voted down. I just right. like I so just to speak. Right. I just like the likes. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like having, I like, I like the dislike. In the UAE, the game started at 4.30, and that was an hour and a half ago. So you're correct. It's 6, it's 6.07 p.m. Dubai time. Oh, there's a Chrome extension. What? That can't possibly work. Um. Did you take Roy off the grid? Right. I don't even have a social security number for Roy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Y'all, that's not very nice. I'm not going to approve your comment. <laughs> you know who you are. Well, yeah, the truth hurts. No matter how accurate it is. <laughs> <laughs> I said the truth hurts. Yeah. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I think somebody else approved it. <laughs> oh, dang it. You can't. Oh, there oh it no, is. no, there it is. Yeah. What's wrong with that comment? That wasn't nice. Yeah. I'm not going to put that. C.L. Smith? Mm-hmm. There he is. He gets to see it, so he knows. <laughs> he knows the deal. Yeah, Hikaru doesn't like classical chess for obvious reasons. All right, yeah. here comes the draw. I'll always repeat and then play King G2, and then repeat. And, you know. Is Magnus mm-hmm. suffering from jet lags? Uh, probably. Probably. Even though it's, you know, been the six engine, days or The engine after here, here plays King H8 for the win. Then after here, it says draw. Hurts. Spencer looks like he has a class in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. What? Says, uh, Why would I ever go to a class? Rapel. Maybe I'm teaching it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. 
Yeah. Levy becoming a GM or a car becoming world champion. I mean, right. they're both 0%. So I don't know. Do I guess... Know? I guess a car would become world champion. Right, because like people could die. Yeah. But how Levy becoming GM? What, they, what's the road some, there? Somebody <laughs> asked John Spielman if he could be the world champion. This yeah. is like a nineteen ninety, and he said that would require a pretty large plane accident. <laughs> That's what he said. Right. Yeah. Classic Brit humor. Mm -hmm. Well, Levy GM more likely. I mean, how could? No. I don't think he could become a GM. And, Meg, and as Spencer said, if, you know, there was a terrible tragedy somewhere, like, you know, it was some movie and half the people were dead, then mm -hmm. and Hikaru was one that was alive somehow, then... Yeah. Oh, he, is, he did play G5 here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Doing nothing, like, doing nothing at all. Yeah. There's no point to the movie. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, I mean, like, this is the interesting variation. Oh, okay, okay. And then whoever's turn it is is winning. But it's not his turn. But if it was his turn, he'd be winning. But it's not his turn. I hate it when it's not my turn. Yeah. Now the best engine move Queen by F6, far X is plan? this. Oh. <sighs> then, I wanted then, to give away the material. Then if you take with a rook, rook, rook f8, f8, I assume. <clears throat> and knight takes, there's no threat, so you just do anything. Right. That's like a funny move. D5. That's a fu that's a funny look. Yeah, I wanted to play queen f6, but queen f6. It might not even win, right? It barely wins. And then I guess. King H6 is better than King F6. Not what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that wins, yeah. Because then just well, Rook D5. Plus yeah. three or yeah, something. Yeah, should win. Right. A1 Let's equals see. Knight. That's an idea. That's if mm -hmm. Nako was playing. Right. And Mamadara would win. Another way to draw other than doing that is H5. Obviously, you can't take on Passant. Then after here with this right. idea, Knight H7. Small Bowl makes a good yeah. point. Hikaru was even in the candidates tournament mm -hmm. once. Then Rook F 8s coming, so this is a draw. Only once. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah once. What? Watch this variation, Spence. Takes, takes. Because uh -huh. if right. Knight F six, I take with check. <laughs> yeah. So F four, King takes, draw. Doesn't matter where yeah. you go. And then draw. Yeah, choking a gal mm -hmm. on a duck's house, that might kill somebody, I would think. Right. <laughs> Sounds gross. <laughs> yeah, Carl was number two in the If world. you go here trying to win, then you don't win. Then, if we take this pawn off, that's an earlier game between Nepo and Carlson. It's a three to two. Right, sort of, yeah. Yeah, but we don't do that. So. Well, obviously, Hikaru would become world champion before Levy. Well, I think it was before Levy becomes GM. No, but he asked oh. world champion Levy. Oh, oh, oh. oh he says. Or Levy becoming world champion. He says world champion. champion. Yeah, yeah. He must but have he admit, admit, I Or think, it might have been a joke, too, I think also. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like all all roads lead to 98, Knight F6 eventually. Eventually he's going to do that. But he's pretending <laughs> like I'm trying to win, and then he'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Lawful Waffle says Hikaru can become world champion if all players ahead of him die of chugging duck sauce. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> chugging what? Duck sauce. Oh. Which has been recommended mm -hmm. many times yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe uh, Magnus is pretending like he's going to play the position. Somebody has to. But it still is a draw if he needs the perpetual. He's got it. Mm -hmm. Unless he's afraid of the exchange sacrifice on E8. He's egging Jan into trying to win. <laughs> yeah. Blundering, and then he wins. He's a genius. We all love Levy here. No, it yeah. doesn't Hikaru. dislike Levy. Well, you guys are all obsessed with Levy. Right. And talking about it. Yeah, I mean, there's only like a million people stronger than We Levy. never bring that up. So you guys bring it up. When we talk you about it, so much. you're trying to converse with you guys, have conversation, mm -hmm. but that's not what we bring up. He played A3, and then he'll play it again. Watch. See, I played right. A3, now he'll play it again. See? Told you. No, just wanted to show you. Mm -hmm. Man, Ifan's pretty happy. Wow, what's going on? I don't know, she's real happy about Bill that. Bill Ifan. Yeah. <laughs> she won the lottery. Mm -hmm. Is IM better than FM? It's hard Close. to become an IM. Um, 
Eric Hansen getting to the candidates is 0%. Mm-hmm. Amon getting to 2,600 is not 0%. It's right. like 0.5%. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> no, Hansen can't he play in the candidates. He'd, he'd be, be banned from the candidates. They wouldn't even right, let right, him right. in. Like, right, yeah, if he was in, they would just Yeah, they'd just say he can't play. Right. Yeah. They would get, like, you know, <laughs> Roy or Kendall or Roman to pay him off so he wouldn't show up. Right? Yeah. Yeah, although Roy doesn't have a social security number. I think, you know, Amon is good enough. I have uh, four or five I am norms. At least. Yeah. He doesn't need Mm -hmm. to get to 2,600 to have a complete and happy life. Hanson's pretty attractive, yes. Is is so hot right now. You know, he's he's all right. He's just all right. Magnus. I think it's easy. I mean, I would say it like maybe between a seven and an eight. You know. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Probably even closer to eight. Mm-hmm. He might be eight because of the, yeah, he's the tallness. No, he, he's no right, Danya. Right. Right. Plus, if you add in the the elo, he's like eight and a half maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Hamilton is. Uh, I I would definitely go for Hamilton above Hanson. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, not in chess skill, just, you know, as far as dating is concerned. Yeah, he doesn't have that man bun. <laughs> <laughs> Danya Dubov than Hanson. Yeah. Dubov's, but how did Dubov get in there? Yeah, I just threw him in. I didn't say it. <laughs> Who right. looks better, Hess or MVL? It depends what kind of mirror you have. Right. It's right. like looking in a mirror. <laughs> If you want to see the real vampire, mm-hmm. Mr. Mayor, look in the mirror. I can't. I'm a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's where the Dubop came from. <laughs> yeah, I like that exclam Danya command. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder if he knows that there's a command over here. Uh, Probably he, not. He literally doesn't care. <laughs> right. yeah. You remember Carol I, I just briefly mentioned him one time when Chess Bay and I were discussing... Uh, GMs. <laughs> Who's the best player from Rabonia? The land you didn't make up? Yeah. Yeah, I like man buns. I mean, they're all right. <laughs> MVL has a painting of Hess in his attic. <laughs> <laughs> I spelled MVL wrong, but it was close. Yeah. Danya has a lot of fangirls. It's a- a- M is in Mansi, RDPXI. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. RDPXI. <laughs> Karen, did you socialize with middle school girls about what boys are the cutest? Definitely. Girls talk about that a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. Was it Grishuk? <laughs> <laughs> Grishuk hasn't aged well, but when he was younger, he, he was attractive. Mm-hmm. Now, let me see if I can approve this no. one. Definitely. <laughs> well, that's not bad. That's kind of silly. I mean, all right. It's up to you. I mean, it's just kind of silly. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, Fisher was good looking, and then he wasn't. I heard about that. Yeah. That he's a handsome boy. Mm-hmm. Laz, how's it going? <laughs> Drans- dressing fancy today, are we? Uh, not me. Okay. <laughs> I'm in pajamas. I but. got my world, you know, the World Series of Poker. I do have jeans on. Mm-hmm. I have my new boots on that they can't even see. Mm-hmm. Oh, I noticed were that you they, new boots. Were they made actually. for walking? Yeah, they're real, they're real But they got real scuffed on this side here. Yeah, that. Oh, darn. Yeah, they are pretty scuffed. Yeah, I didn't even see that. You gotta return them. Oh. And I don't mean that in the, like, how kids say scuffed. I nowadays. must have done it to myself. Yeah, yeah I think so, right? So you, that'll probably come off, though. Oh, totally. With some totally, buffing. Totally. Terrible. Mm-hmm. But it is, it, that's the problem because the bottoms are black, but the shoes themselves are white. Yeah. So uh, if they touch each other, it'll When I ran into yeah. a deer once, he wanted to exchange insurances, and I was like, you just buff that right out. All right, And right. he said he'd feel more comfortable exchanging insurances. Buff what? He buffed that right out. Yeah. Well, how does buff? You know, scuffed, buff it right out. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Family guy. Right. So no, my jeans are fine. My my new boots are scuffed already. It's because I'm crossing like this. I'll take a bathroom break. Darn. Well, is there more coffee? I don't know. What's yeah, but you probably have to heat it up in Maybe. the microwave. I I might you make some more. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
just this 30 second micro seems like this to be done soon no he's you know pretending to try yeah. see look he's not trying but he's trying to try you said they were going to do all this and then probably draw right they're going to repeat but it depends he could repeat before or now i mean he's risking losing if he doesn't repeat eventually because black's going to be better here with these three weak pawns and mm -hmm. this nice pawn but he always has this the draw in hand as long as he doesn't mess it up yeah trying is the first step uh, to failure i've got to examine my, hey that guy just said it my boot situation mm -hmm. yeah that better come oh yeah it comes right off okay <laughs> all right time for another train ow Let's go, people. <laughs> Somehow, the, yeah, he's thinking, like, why is my prep so bad? Today is the last day that um, we we have the chess club. <clears throat> uh, so I have to go pack up some stuff uh, there. I'm taking all the employees out to eat. Where are we going? Did you want to go? Well, obviously, they're my employees. I know, but I didn't. I didn't know originally when I planned mm -hmm. it whether you guys would still be doing commentary. Like I'd have to duck mm -hmm. out. But uh, Spencer can go too. I obviously. might be napping. Can well, I go let's if just I'm napping? See how it plays out. Yeah. Yeah, the chess center's closing. <laughs> we have to fly all the way to San Francisco, then to St. Louis, and then the large women, then the petite women, and then the large women again. Yeah. Why do we shut down? You know, we just had a very difficult time making it profitable. And then when COVID hit, COVID. we just lost a lot of money because we still had to pay rent even though we were closed for several months. And then... Death by snoo snoo, correct. Yeah. <laughs> then when we reopened, you know, people really weren't returning uh, quite as quickly because not everybody could be vaccinated, et cetera. But I think, you know... Even on a good day, it was difficult to, to squeeze a profit out of it. And that's just the way it is with chess clubs, unfortunately. Yeah, last night when we were going to sleep, the dogs were like in Karen's way. And she <laughs> said, out me way. Me want snoo snoo. So, uh, <laughs> uh, family, uh, Futurama, that was great. So what will you do in the future? Well, you're looking at it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this and cooking more and playing some poker and trying to study chess and be less terrible. Cause Frankly, I'm terrible. <laughs> the problem with Magnus moving the D pawn, which somebody asked, is that gives away the E6 square. So this knight can't move right now. If you've ever played D6 and I play knight E6, now this is attacked. My king has F8. The pawn's not dangerous because D8 is defended 800 billion times. Mm. This pawn is dangerous. So this just risks losing. But you have to risk it to get the biscuit. So you could play D6 now, for example. Knight E6 is good. We could play D7, which the engine says is forced. Then I would play Rook D8, but that's me. And then, you know, these pawns are both stopped. Yeah, it's hard for anybody to do anything here. It's like nobody can do anything that makes any sense. If you play rook e8, hoping for checkmate with advantage, then I don't do that. Yeah, I could just make any move. The funniest draw is this. Then if you take, I take. And if you play rook takes e6, which is the engine move, then we have this draw. Although I... The reason it's a draw, because these pawns are both hanging, is I have perpetual. And if you want to win, you have to run your king over here and give this pawn away, which I guess is fine. Yeah, I guess that's also a draw. Yes. As long as everything is a draw, that's all that matters. Yeah, every, it says all zeros for everything, no matter what anybody does. So he might do that, because everything is a draw. He is thinking forever. He's thinking this, he's thinking this repetition, he's thinking king g2, so that way you queen it's not check. But yeah, this rook is really well placed, Def stopping this, defending this, and stopping the white king from moving up. 
Mm-hmm. So he's trying to win, but I mean, this pawn's pretty good. So this rook's not really participating in the game. So yeah, once this goes here, you know, White's gonna have to bail out for a draw, I think. Because that pawn, you know, the rooks can't move. Pawn's in the seventh rank. This pawn doesn't matter. It's being st defended three ways from Sunday. And Somebody six. has a question. Rook d7 in that last variation? Rook d7. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Question? I don't know. No, but that's not a question. They're just saying rook d7 in the last <laughs> variation. That's not a question. You just made a statement and put a question mark at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will the chess center YouTube be inactive now? No, we're going to still keep it going. Um, we, we just won't put new content on there. Somebody asked about the thumbnails. We have three people that do thumbnails, but one primary mm -hmm. YouTube editor that will keep doing um, thumbnails and editing for us. But um, two, two of our, um, one of our staff members in Atlanta was is a very talented graphics designer, and then we have another one. That, that shall uh, keep working for us? No, we're uh, not going to have tournaments. We're retired. Um, Thanks. Magnus thinks forever, making it look like a long game. Ooh. Right, right. That's the act, you know. Oh, that's hot. That must have been at least a minute. No, 30 seconds. Wow, that's Not hot for 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. I don't like to hear the beeping, so I stop it early. <laughs> no beep. Mm -hmm. Well, someone still might be purchasing the chess club, and that's unclear, but likely. And somebody asked a while ago, does the St. Louis <clears throat> Chess Club make money? It does not make money. It loses money. Why would but they a chess don't, club make money? They don't care though, because it, it's the you know billionaire. Plus, it. it's like a tax situation, you know, because he's uh, it's um, it's a nonprofit. A yeah, nonprofit, right? It, was it always a nonprofit? As far as I know. Yeah. Yes. Now it's considered an educational institution. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like Harvard. Oh, okay. So you can, it is much like yeah, Harvard. Now the difference between the four hundred one c nonprofit and an educational institution is a very important distinction. Mm -hmm. And when they became an educational institution, then everybody high-fived each other, because obviously it's not. If it's a nonprofit, you can't have one person give it all of his money. That's not a nonprofit, that's just a tax shelter. Right. So there's a certain percentage that Rex could give the chess club as a nonprofit. If it's an educational institution like Harvard, you, you can give them all his money. There's no, oh, no yeah. laws are broken. So that's why they got that status. So yeah. you can either go to Harvard or the St. Louis Chess Club. Those are your options. Yeah. But do you know for sure that were they always nonprofit? I yeah. thought, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I yeah. think they switched it over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, King. Well, not sure, 770. I'm sad about the chess club, too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm 99% <laughs> sure that my friend is going to buy the chess club. Wow, that's a pretty high percentage. But he's... I don't have confirmation, so I can't announce that. Also, he's mainly going to focus on scholastic so there won't be much there for me to do but good news for you he is going to continue the senior club yeah so you'll get to play there you could still think about going <laughs> to it mm -hmm. <laughs> right so you should come last you know it's a great group the senior club i will be playing at the senior club once if if my friend does buy the chess club out and continue Thanks. Yeah, I agree. Boo Scholastic. That's the good news. The bad news is her friend is Naroditsky. That's the that's the bad news. Yeah. For you. Learn how to spell <laughs> learn how to spell sink field before you ask him for a donation. Right. It is tough to spell though. Yeah. You There's know, a, a U and an E in there. It'd be nice if if he wanted to give us some money, but you know, he didn't. Yeah. Right. Maybe he can just personally give you money. Yeah, there you go. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Magnus is thinking, but it's not his strong suit. Why can't the rook on e7 move? Seems like it could. Yeah, rook can move here, here, right. here. There's a lot of squares it could move to. Yeah, look at that. Well, what's the point of it moving? That's my That's question. Good. Yeah, the rook's pretty badly placed here. All right, How about right, here? Oh, oh, oh snap. Yeah. F1, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then king here, rook here, king g1. That's why oh. I'm... And then and yes. here, here, here takes me. That's why I'm <laughs> the world getting this knight here. I will never get mate with the knight. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, if only Magnus saw this, but I need a player of my caliber to see do that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, That's that is true, uh, Hots. Jeb Jebediah Sinkfield. Yeah. There might be a there might be a command for the chess club closing, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Putin <laughs> right, on it's the X clam like announcement, right? I don't know. I think it's X clam. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still there, and if it's even accurate anymore. Mm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, no one really had any chances to be better here. Hmm. <laughs> That's it's, right, it man. Says, <laughs> it says Petrov, <laughs> classical attack, martial variation, stun variation. variation. And there might even be more. Yeah, it, it's continuing. You can't see. Danny Rensch variation, <laughs> Gotham chess variation. Like, what? Come on. Yeah. What are you doing over there? <laughs> well, I'm obviously not going to be a title player, but I am going to work on my game. And you guys are all going to be in shock and all. Have you ever played uh, Svetasar Gligorich? Yes. What's better, du what's better, Dubai or Dubi? Or, or <laughs> here's a third one, Dubov. <laughs> Dubov, yeah. You mean Dubi like smoking Dubis? Mm-hmm. Just the, the word doobie. <laughs> I, I played Svetozar Gligorich in 1988, and I can show you the game if you'd like. Yeah, why not? Right. Yeah. I guess Just Svetozar. pretend like it was related. I oh, you got to do the first I haven't move. been to Dubai, so I can't Dang compare it. doobies in Dubai. I'm trying to figure out how I can get away with it. What well, opening was it? It was an Imzo. What? <laughs> you played Queen C2? <laughs> yeah, of course. Dubai or not Dubai? <laughs> Even an analysis, I can't do it? That's just dumb. Well, anyways. Like, why, that's just dumb that I, I can make a move here for black, and here I can't make a move for white. Yeah. Come on, chess.com. It's so stupid. Why are they so stupid? Chess.com does have a lot of, like, errors mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Like, strange errors that beta testing would have mm -hmm. fixed, you'd think. But you can't anything. make... Um... An analysis, when you're looking at a game already, yeah, you, you have to the make the first move, move yeah. for white. But I can make a different move for black. But I can't make a different move for white. Oh wow! I've I've, no, wow. I've noticed that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I played Gligorich <laughs> in uh, yeah in February of 1988, and it was a queen c2 Nimzo, and we played a line where you trade queens early, and uh, we agreed to a draw like I move 13, 14. Yeah. Oh, I like that line late night. You're sacking the rook yeah. so that you can win the rook for the a pawn, yeah. therefore losing a pawn. Just say the game? All right. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2. C5, dc, bishop c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop g5, knight d4, knight d4, bishop d4, e3, queen a5, ed, queen g5, queen d2, queen d2, king d2. We might have agreed to a draw there. Might have made one or two more moves. It's impossible to play e4 and get that position. Right, yeah. Can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, terrible. Mm. And that's why Levy will never become a GM. Mm -hmm. I mean, there might have been one more move or so. Yeah. Can you say whole speech again in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that long ago. It was February of 88. So, you know. Me too, get, me too fat. Yeah, I was Goku. almost alive, though. Yeah. You lost me after D4. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is the game that... I like the engine. It says white's better point one four if you go check, here, check, here, and then king g2. But always repeat. Man, those engines are good. Well, I would love to be as good at chess as Levy. Obviously, I'm not ever going to be. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, make fun of Levy except for that 
trapped rook. If you guys weren't here last <laughs> night, or you weren't told, or you didn't, weren't listening, I did break 2,700 mm -hmm. again last night on my stream. I'm 2,701. So the road to 2,800 continues. It's the long and winding road. Agamator is in a master. He's a kind of master. <laughs> we were arguing once, and he really is a master debater. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't win anything. No, we're closed. Mm. We're closed. Um... Yeah, I'm getting my GM title tomorrow, Karma. Yeah, for the person who's going to be in Atlanta for a few weeks, they're having the Georgia whatever, like in the second weekend of December. Yeah. The, yeah. What's that called? The Georgia The class? Georgia State Championship. Yeah, it's like December, whatever the second Saturday and Sunday are. Mm. Nobody knows, like the 10th and the 11th, the 10th, yeah, something like that. that yeah. Um, yeah, you know, if we're in town, I may play that. Unclear. Yeah, I am. I'll be an I am in the evening tonight, and then GM tomorrow. <laughs> I can show you my favorite move because it started with E four. Yeah. 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 Let me show you my favorite move because it start. This was played in nineteen ninety three, four. I was black, so I I can't really remember it because I'm looking at it from the wrong side. No. Oh, you might play C.L. Smith. Oh, good. Archer's playing and he's with his dad that weekend. I'm pretty sure that I'm... The only reason I wouldn't play is if we're out of town. This is my favorite move ever that I've played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was in 1993 or 4. That I'm not sure about, but it was one of them. Yeah, and here I'm black. I played my favorite move here with black. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first move you would think of. Okay. Yeah, you talked about this in Chess Life. Mm -hmm. You had an article about it. It's tied for first right now. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. You sitting down? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Correct. If he takes with a pawn, then this pins his queen, and he can't play c3. Oh. So he'd be PO'd because his pawn took the knight. If he takes with the queen, then I take the bishop. And then I have the dark squares, what else? Oh. If he takes with the bishop, then you will know this queen is the lord when it finally gets to a good square. It's queen town and fork right? town all at oh. once. Okay. So my opponent after knight d3 played here. And then I won after further How surprised was your opponent when you played knight d3? I don't remember. I remember that I thought he would go here. Yeah. Yeah, and he did. Wait, and when was the game? It was against uh, Yumol, Y-U-M-O-L, at the New York Open in like 93 or 94. I think mm. 93. Uh. Yeah, but I remember doing that. Levy is good at remembering his games too. So for one thing. You like this, and the game you played against a Hispanic player... Yeah, he's thinking of Fidel Corrales Jimenez. Jimenez yeah. I can't show that game because that started with D4. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ben, have you ever played Judith Polgar? Many times. So the answer is many times. Mm -hmm. One lost and drawn. Played like five times. The game I beat her was a 15 minute game, and she hung mate and won on a double rook ending. I made it her, and she's like, oh. I hate when that happens. That's right. And what did I say afterwards? Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> but she beat me in. Uh, Amsterdam in Ora 1989 or 90. I guess it was 89. Unless it was 90. It was 89. That's the term where I beat Gelfan. So. And then we drew in the New York Open in 88, maybe? Probably 88. And then she beat me in Dortmund in, either, in probably 1990. Probably. And then we drew some other tournament. It might have been another New York Open. Sounds right. Man, the dogs are just having a field yeah. day. Yeah. When Judith Polgar got her way? first IM norm, I played oh, her in that oh, tournament. Yeah. When she well, got her first that. GM norm. Oh, I'm looking to the left here. Oh. Get, all right, let me, oh, I apologize. When she got her first IM norm, I played her in that tournament. In the last round, she drew me for her first norm. Then the first time she got a GM norm, I was at the tournament and didn't play her. Then when she got her last GM norm, I was there and I played her. So I basically know her from coming up. And then when she's 2,700, then I couldn't find her anymore. Cause, you know. 
We did surprise them in their in their apartment. They owned like a whole floor of a apartment building in Budapest, and I knew where they lived. And we went to Budapest for a tournament, but she didn't know that I was a coach. And then I told my friend where they lived, and we went there. And we knocked on the door, and she opened the door like the, the whole Paul Graf family was like Ben, and I was like, you know it. And then Judith said, here, and she got me some orange juice without me asking. And I threw it in her face. Right. She put milk in it. Now that's a turnoff. <laughs> Seinfeld. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Seinfeld. That's my, that's that my favorite episode. Story, favorite episode, old man. Yeah, I know that's yeah. your favorite episode. At the very end of the episode, he's, he, one of the older guys dates the woman who dated Gandhi. And he says, if things were going fine, we talked for hours. Gave me some tea. Put some milk in it without asking me. Now that's a turnoff. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't have that. <laughs> Go Sid Fields. That is weird to put milk in without asking. Though. Yeah, all right. I would agree. Yeah. Is her father and mother famous physicians? Well, you spelled physicians wrong, and no, neither one's a physician. Neither one's famous. Mm. <clears throat> Go goiter. Mm -hmm. Goiter, I, I did what goiter? It's the football save, shaped lump sticking out my neck. Oh, that goiter. I wish I had one. <laughs> <laughs> and so forth. Is that from the same episode? Do you want to change my diaper? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, one thing before you go. Would you change my diaper? Ah, <laughs> like, it's I remember me. that. Yeah. No, he like kicks. Kramer in the behind, and then he bites Kramer. That's a good episode. <laughs> yeah. Take your hands off me. What a great episode. Okay. And then the one old guy fires George because George is too annoying. Don't you see the writing on the wall? <laughs> and so forth. Mainly and so forth. So they're still not moving? This is See now Gandhi he oh, would magnet. he would dip his head into oil and rub it all over her body. It does sound like something Gandhi. Right. Did, and then honestly. George George wanted that done by the woman who didn't speak English. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No English. She steals yeah, from me. Seinfeld Are you the sure boyfriend? Are you coming here to kill me? You're gonna kill an old man? What kind of person are you? <laughs> oh man, what a great episode. Let's go watch that. And so forth. Magnus isn't blundering because, as I've said, every game doesn't move. Nobody ever moves. So when they're in prep, they move really fast, and when they're not, they don't move. Now uh, I wanted to mention that on the in the times there, yeah, that White doesn't ever use time, but he has a lot less time. Mm -hmm. You know, like White never uses time in those bars, but that's wrong. He he thought for some of those moves. Oh, oh here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just wrong. Maybe I have to refresh. You know, it says he's spending 30 seconds each move or so. Let's it's, refresh. Makes no sense. Then it'll fix it. Oh, I think he ruined it. You yeah. ruined it. Oh, okay, there we See, go. See, look, now, now it, you're right. Yeah, yeah now, it's, now it's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, because everything I say is my opinion, uh, Jan's playing a lot more solid than expected. Jan's not doing anything crazy at all, ever. He's playing normal chess. I didn't think he would be getting too crazy, though. Yeah, he didn't crazy at all. If anything, Magnus went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna. do you want to go with this for the final staff luncheon today? He hates yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds right. What? I'm kidding. Okay. You don't have lessons? No, my lessons start at 3 o'clock. Okay. Right. It should be okay. I think we'll be done with it. Hey, I also might get... I don't know if we need two people. You should the be little done. Little fridge has to come. You in. should be done Anna some Pena. point because okay. of uh, Archer. So. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. What food is at the luncheon? Depends where we go. I was letting them pick out. They, I think they already picked out a Mexican restaurant. Not Nam Thai. Like. Blitz Chess hasn't yeah. decided mm -hmm. any world championship in the history of chess. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, they uh, should, so should another them. Another one. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You showed them. Yeah, more blitz. <laughs> yeah. For the first time ever, more blitz. That's mm -hmm. what we need. What's Archer's profession, says Trump? Yeah, uh, is an archer. Mm-hmm. Ar archer is 12. He's a student <laughs> yeah. and professional child. Probably. Video game aficionado, mm -hmm. chess player. 
<laughs> Are you guys a family? Carl wanted Carlson tiebreak was rapid. I yes. like to think of us more as a cheap source of labor. <laughs> <laughs> We are a family. If the rapid portion ends one and a half, one and a half, the players are going to say, why is this three games? And somebody gets two whites. Then they'll be like, oh, never. <laughs> that's that's what will happen. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. yeah. He's on a road to nowhere. So, so don't forget, if you guys want to donate to Spencer, Spencer has his own stream. It's all detailed here. And the Spencer command. Tomorrow I'll have a direct link to your donate, but I didn't right. get a chance to edit the Nightbot yet. It says he streams at, at mm -hmm. Spensenzug. That's the right way to do it? Uh, the last it sentence? Twitch.com no, slash. No, the last sentence? Yeah, we can update yeah. And then where it says That's Spencer Feingold, then there's no space, but like there's, it says he in capital. What's, Whoever well, wrote that is banned. Like, what, there's yeah. a period there. No, between yeah. com and he, there's no period. Oh, 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 I agree right, with that. Right. All right, well, we'll update Honestly, the command the to have a direct uh, link but to... But it's capital H, like, because I'm God -like. Spencer's donate as well. But you can get to it by clicking on the About tab over, you know, mm -hmm. on Twitch. <laughs> I did not consider Spencer Swang. Spiddler <laughs> said 13 first comp line show draw. Man, the truth hurts. Ben was always the best proofreader for the Flyers That's at true. the chess club. No yeah, matter. one time Karen was really getting drunk, and I said, no, 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 because I was a proofreader. I showed her how much proof was in the alcohol, All right. and that was the end of that. <laughs> Is Archer awake? Yeah, he's at school right now. Mm -hmm. I, had to I took him to That's school. That's why Karen wasn't here at the beginning of the thing. She went to take Archer mm -hmm. to school. Magnus has been thinking quite a while on this move. Yeah, at least half an hour. He's thinking about trying to do stuff, you know? He's thinking, can I double rooks? Can mm. I push the h pawn? Can I just wait and keep the tension? Because what does black do? The, I think the but main way for, for white to win, if he wants to win, is to play king f1 to e2. Because that sort of changes the nature of the position. Yeah, but king f1, I was thinking right. rook d2. I mean, he might lose, but, you know, truth hurts. Yeah, but then king e1. Ah, yeah, yeah, just get the rook, get the rook off of here and get the king somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, you might lose, but you know you're trying. Trying is the first step to failure. Oh. But... <clears throat> king f one, I guess I'd play rook. I mean a two. Yeah. You know, and then rook b three, if you attack it. Yeah, the engine says knight e eight, knight f six. Right, right, right. Because yeah. yeah. whenever Otherwise black win, is about yeah. to win, white's like, okay, draw, and then he's risking that this wins at some point, yep, which yep. it never does, but. He doesn't know that, you know. He's right. not, you know. But it really can't because there's rook a two, like you showed. This is a draw two, and he could play king h eight here. And this is also a draw. Oh, rook f seven threatens mate. No, no, you oh, hang no, your no, knight. Hangs you have to play knight d six, otherwise yeah. white resigns. Yeah. So white's yep. trying to win, but he's trying to draw, because he's playing for a win, but he has like one move that draws. So that's not good. Then this is the perpetual now. That's funny. Rook e eight can't work because mm -hmm. the a two pawn's hanging, so that'll never work. You know. Yeah. So this is the position. Magnus has been thinking over 30 minutes. And everything he analyzes is a draw. So he might just be like, all right, let's just draw now. I've had enough of this. But he usually doesn't do that. He plays for the win. And then since there is no win, he think forever. Oh, he did make a move, huh? Yep. Check. If he plays for a win with something like King F1, like I said, or King G2, he's going to repeat first. Especially since he thought a long time, but also always repeat. King h8 is also a draw if Jan wants to play. Like if Jan was playing me, he'd play King h8 here. He'd be like, well, I'll just beat Ben. Take all his pawns. Papa John's. Yeah. No, but uh, I know King g8 is a draw, but Papa John's. So <laughs> I figure I can beat him because any American who likes Papa John's can beat him at chess. That's what, exactly what he's thinking now. It's like All I'm right. playing Magnus, but if I was playing Ben, then you know. But you don't really like Papa John's. So. No, I just like saying Papa John's. All right, 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 exactly. Right, right. I mean, he, which he knows, yes. I'm hmm? oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, somebody said, what is center pawn loss? Maybe he said center pawn. No, center no, pawn. Oh, you did say center pawn. Yeah, that's the engine analysis of the average center pawn loss oh. per move. Oh, you mentioned that. Yeah, the yeah other it's, day. it's one hundredth of a pawn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
I'd never heard that until you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's his name? When when certain people were cheating in the Pro Chess League, I won't yeah. say who they were. I won't say it's Elliot Liu. But when Elliot Liu was cheating every game, and everybody knew it, and they wouldn't do anything about it, um, Matt Larson was the first person who told me. He said, I've looked at Elliot Liu's games. I didn't know about it. And he says his average sense upon loss is better than Magnus ever plays ever in any of his games. And so I was like, all right. And then I looked at the games and I agreed and that he won every game. And then everybody got mad at me because I publicly said he was cheating. Mm -hmm. And everybody else just said it privately. You can't say someone is cheating because, you know, that's, you, that's, you shouldn't that, do that. They'll die. They'll and, die. I, and I was like, oh, but he's cheating. And they're like, you don't have any evidence he was cheating. Right. And I said, well, as far as I know, Elliot Lou's not better than Magnus every single game. <laughs> also, Elliot Lou's cheated before. There's, I've, I know things about him that you guys don't know that I can't talk about from the world youth. We when talk, we played their team we, we in, the, talk about in the U.S. chess league, yeah. Var was like giving us a pep talk, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, like you need to do this, you need to do that. It's like, Spencer, eh, your opponent's cheating, so just don't worry about it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> I did lose. He was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, black against an engine. Anyway, he then later acknowledged he was cheating for decades. So, yeah. Wait, and... and He's cheated three times that I know of. What's the, his the, title? The, he's an I am. I am. The Pro Chess League, he cheated in a World Youth, and he cheated to get into the U.S. Championship, which nobody acknowledges, but I'm just telling you. Oh, yeah? I didn't know about that. Yeah, they used to, they used to be able to qualify online. Shockingly, oh. he qualified online. Oh. I yeah. Now, that. now <laughs> Elliot Liu, I like him. I mean, he cheats, but I like him. Yeah. And Elliot Liu's a really, really good quarterback. I mean, I'm not kidding. And we were like, you know, he he tried to be a quarterback at USC, but the other quarterback at USC was a lot better than him. But he, we, were, we were playing throw the football catch like at the U.S. Championship, and he could throw the football and then some. I thought you were joking. No, it seems like a real no, Elia right Lewis is a really yeah. good quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but he didn't, you know, he – didn't do that. It's tougher to cheat like in football. Well, you could yeah. deflate the ball. Oh, man, I, I saw him throw the ball. He's pretty good. Yeah. He's still <clears throat> alive and he still plays chess? He's like in yeah, the early he's... 30s, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how old he is. I don't know anything yeah. about him. Yeah. I've yeah, when I accuse him. people of cheating publicly, they're cheating. I'm not, you know, and if you don't have proof, I don't care. Like, stop like stop cheating we're playing Does he it's, it's like a deny, money event deny. no 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 he's no, the no, one he, oh, yeah, the he only reason and us. i the real the reason yeah. people apologize to me after they told me i was scum and all that is he said yeah i've been cheating for decades and right. then they're like what well he's obviously cheating mm -hmm. and th there's this idiot named ken reagan is that his name mm, he's know. an im he's like only i can catch cheaters he can't do anything so whenever he says something they're like okay he wrote an article about how only I can catch cheaters and I'm a genius. And he's an idiot. So the way to catch cheaters is to ask me. And then I'll be like, yeah, he's cheating. But obviously, if you're playing better than Carlson every game and you're 2300, you're cheating. It just You don't go 9-0, 10-0 in the, in the pro chess league and you're 2300. And when Wesley went 9-1 one year playing like seven GMs, mm -hmm. Wesley was like lost in every game. Yep. Because you know, he plays like Wesley, yeah, and then he wins anyway because he's Wesley. Yeah, I remember. But he doesn't play engine move every move and win all 10 games like Elliot That's did. only Elliot, yeah. Right, yeah. And there were other people who cheated too, like Barcinella, and he was thrown out. But there's a lot of people who cheated. That Chinese guy who was 2100 or 2000, Pete Mamajarov. I remember that. Yeah. I he, made a they, whole video about it. Yeah, that was funny. When people were like, oh, you need to have proof. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not putting the guy in jail, okay? Yeah. I'm just saying he's a jerk. I don't need proof for that. Yeah. You know, the truth hurts. Anyways, I was but, right. But basically, <laughs> everybody you've played on the internet is always cheating. Always. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Botez is streaming from Dubai. Kobe. And if Adibon was a cheater, he's doing a really bad job. He's getting crushed <laughs> every a game. a really good job. He's getting crushed every game. <laughs> yeah. If he's yeah. not cheating, he better start because yeah, he's not, not playing well. Yeah, to get more uh, stupid. Adibon is one of the few people who just got worse. Adiban was better in his early 20s than his late 20s. Adiban was pretty good. Now he's not. Now everybody just beats him. Yeah, if you have one of these online tournaments where everybody's 2,700, Adiban comes in last. So he's definitely not cheating. Yeah. He is a fan favorite, though. Everybody loves Adiban. Yeah, he plays like a lunatic, but yeah. sometimes when you play like a lunatic, you lose all your games, like Shirov. He's mm -hmm. not saying he cheats. Joe no, maybe he's just burned out. 
Yeah. No, I mean, he's not cheating. He loses all his games. Well, show me somebody Robert who... E typed Kobe as well. Somebody, somebody show me somebody winning all their games, then I'll show you a cheater. Right. If a guy's losing all his games, he's, you know, he's not cheating. All, all right. right, so they've repeated once. Always repeat. Sheeroff did cross 27. I heard about that, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're... yeah how old is he? <clears throat> 49. Oh. That's like pretty that. cool. Yeah. Hey, Siri, Go how old, old is Alexi Sheeroff? Go old guy. Uh, Alexis Shirov. Hmm. Elliot Lou played in your tournament in 2004 and crushed everyone. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> he said when he, when he, um, what's the word when you tell everybody what you did? Confessed. Yeah. When he confessed, he said he wears one, there's a shirt that he wears when he's cheating. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cheat oh. Shirt. Yeah. That's not a joke. He has, that's the one that has, it's, I could still laugh. That's the one that's like has the cheating <laughs> software, I guess, or something. Yeah. I don't know. So I guessed 49, <laughs> and he is 49. That's true. Oh, good guess. That's awesome, then. Yeah. He's played for three countries, the Soviet Union, Spain. Latvia, and Spain. Yeah. Yeah, I knew about Spain and mm-hmm. Latvia, of course. Right, Personal so I, life. I need the stockfish shirt, yeah. Shirov got married for a third time. Yeah. So is that Shirov's highest rating now? They're saying, no, or no, no, oh, no, so no. what was his highest? His pay twenty seven fifty five. So he had gone down and went back up again. Oh yeah, yeah he's old. I know. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's pretty good. Yeah, he was ranked Stupid number two in the world in ninety four. It says uh, it's to the pound with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll search kill shelters specifically. The Petrosian drama was an all-time rant. I mean, he made it a uh, he made it so much worse with the crazy. Comment. That was good for me though. That was <laughs> about funny. the diaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all I have to do is not talk, and people oh, don't yeah. care about it that much. <laughs> since she was PP and Pampers. Yeah. yeah, since he was PP. <laughs> Man, and the and the analysis White Spawn got all the way to here, and then I think he's worse. Because the night goes to E6. That's still a draw. Shirov marrying, giving Ben a run for his money. All right. You shouldn't diss Wesley. What's funny is after Wesley was like, this guy's obviously cheating. Then Komsky was like, you know, was, uh, Wesley, I uh, don't agree with that. You shouldn't accuse people of cheating. Doesn't, right. Komsky accuses everybody Komsky of cheating. Komsky of all people. Komsky, Komsky is, just never, nonstop accuses everyone of cheating. Right. This was with the Elliot Lou stuff? No, 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 no. The Petrosian. Oh, the, yeah. oh, the Petrosian. That's because Wesley was saying, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I forgot who I was. Yeah, involved. Wesley was saying how Petrosian was cheating. Yeah. And then, then they banned him and his children. Yeah, that's children. when they finally paid attention. What a lot of people don't know, because yeah, yeah. you don't know anything, is not only did they forfeit the match retroactively, they also forfeited Petrosian's team the previous match against the Chess Bros. The Chess Bros came in second. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, because the Chess Bros complained too. Right. They were like, well, you're cheating against us. Why does that matter? And they said, that doesn't matter as much. You're not Wesley, but all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it was weird. They weren't sure what, what Eric was saying because he said, well, he's cheating, eh? And right. we were like, what? Wait, so Komsky was accusing Min Lee of cheating or was that somebody else? Because Min Lee is... Did, Min Lee was playing cheating. last night against Niroditsky when we raided. Yeah. And Min Lee was up like 8 to 7 or 9 to 8. Yeah, that sounds about it right. 3,000 raided. Yeah, Min Lee's good. Especially like online... You know, ultra bullet or whatever. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. he's super fast. Yeah, Komsky likes to accuse people of cheating. So, I mean, me too, yeah. but come on. Then th- th- yeah. don't say that, what? that somebody else shouldn't. Wesley's <laughs> never yeah. accused anybody of cheating right? except that one guy who cheated. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, Wesley doesn't go around throwing accusations around. Yeah, Komsky didn't like that. He's right. like, look. All right, if you're going to say somebody's cheating, say everybody's cheating, like mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> yeah. So Pro does it. The machine gun method. So does Topolov. Okay. I don't understand, like, why Magnus isn't just repeating because in the long run, Black could win. And I don't see White winning. I don't see the winning plan. I see Black winning. I see this is weak, this is weak, this is weak, and this is queening. So I see that Black could win if White doesn't play well. I'm just wondering how White wins. Like, oh, White does this and he wins. White does what and he wins. Right. What, what's that's ha- what I was saying. Why? why we, what, I don't understand what's happening. Why does no winning plan? Yeah, I guess that's why he's sitting like that and thinking forever and then repeating. Right. Yeah. Obviously, he's better than me, but 
It's almost like he's flexing, like, uh, I'll make the game go four hours so they think I tried to win. I mean, it is his birthday. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, he repeats and plays d5. He repeats and does something else. Always repeat. Yeah. Now, it's true. The engine just says it's a draw. But, I mean, I think if Magnus doesn't play knight e8 to f6 in the next seven moves, he's going to be in trouble. Right. I mean, yeah, he's testing like how how far can I go before mm -hmm. I have to repeat? You know? Right. Yeah, at some point it might it might be after this check that you know I I play king h8 and then I start winning. I do give this pawn up, so you better watch it. <laughs> that's, also, that's true. Time <laughs> time situation's pretty bad. Pretty pretty bad. So very suspicious. Man, look at him suffering. I like that. He's like, oh, God, God. And he made fun of Jan before the match. You know, this guy's right. a wild card. Why aren't I playing Ding or Fabi? What you guys don't know, even though I told you, is many, 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 many years ago, there was a tournament when Kasparov was at his peak, and it was all super GMs. And it was in the Netherlands, and Vanderweel was playing. And he, he tried to get the organizers to disinvite Vanderweel because he's no good. Mm -hmm. He's like, why are you inviting that guy? And then Vanderweel drew Kasparov in the tournament. Oh, that's fine. Truth hurts. They're trying to ask if you know. Uh, let me go back up. Devils asked a few times. Have you heard of Nikhil Kamath? I haven't, unless it's the guy yeah. that he's probably thinking Nikhil Kumar, and he's just saying the name wrong. Uh, who's no, we haven't heard of him. That's no, I think he's thinking Nikhil Kumar. He just doesn't know. He wouldn't. It wouldn't be that wrong. Yeah. You know? yeah. Would it? Yeah. Wherever, like, there's only one letter is the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, he'll be like, oh, I yeah, think that's it's just right. a different person. That's what I think, I but think, I'm not sure. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. No matter mm -hmm. what the deal is, is right? That... Harold's friend, yeah, exactly right. Like Harold and Kumar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh the... you're talking about the billionaire oh. cheating? Yeah, that doesn't matter. All yeah. right, I don't know about that, but whatever. Yeah, it's, nobody cares. Against about Vichy here. Yeah, and in what? You know, format was it online or something? It was a, it was a simul online. Oh, it was okay. a charity online event. Right, and the, I mean, wow. it was cheating against the and non. Everybody and he cheated. still did really well against yeah. the cheaters. More and the non resigned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <clears> then <throat> initially his account was banned, and then yeah. I think Anon said, Anon said, "Yeah, you can unban it." Unban it. Like, right. They're idiots. Don't care. Yeah. I think he probably yeah. said they're idiots or whatever. So then they got unbanned. So everybody was mad about it for about one day. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> cheating in a charity was Trump pretty embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, don't they, they know better? That's ridiculous. Frankly, well, what's the plan? He beats Anand, and everyone believes it. <laughs> like, come on. I don't know. It's pretty embarrassing. Caruana was furious. I believe it. Aruna was furious. If I was giving a simul and the guy cheated, Caruana oh, would be was, furious. It's Aruna, not Caruana. That's right. I get it. Yeah. I just I don't. Uh, Vishnu and Aruna are like that, son. I don't agree with <laughs> yeah. the I don't agree with the unbanning of the mm. account. It was unrated. It's kind of a gray area, but I still don't agree with. Well, Vishnu understands the importance of of the dollar. Vishnu's a saint That's and the rupee. Is. He yeah. And the mark. It's not about I mean, his sainthood. <laughs> I never know? see him choke on his rage so much. The Almighty Aller. Yeah, well, hopefully mm -hmm. Magnus apologizes after the match for what he said about Jan before the match. What if he wins, like, several games in the next Still should game? apologize. Terrible. Trash talking in chess. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. No, that's a, that's a Kasparov move. My opponent sucks. Why am I playing him? Man. The guy who got scholars rated a week earlier, they said. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. I forgot all yeah, yeah. that. I didn't know that at all. Now, 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 here's Great. something I've said before, but if you don't remember me saying it, you'll like it. But you'll remember. You might not. When uh, Tal Shakhed was the world junior champion, he was getting invitations, and he played tournament with Kasparov, mm -hmm. and they played. And Kasparov played a novelty in the Grunfeld he had prepared for Karpov, but it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and when the game ended, <clears throat> Kasparov in an interview said, it was like using a nuclear weapon to kill a mosquito. All right. Man, truth hurts. <laughs> God damn. And English isn't his first language. That's why it's funny. Man. Yeah, I roasted him pretty hard there. And then Tall Shockhead kicked it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the last time I saw Tall Shockhead, where was I? Let's see who gets it first. I know where you were. Oh, okay, so you. What? I'm reading the chat. What? The last time I saw Tall Shockhead, where was I? 
I don't know who that is. He's Tall a shotgun? world junior champion. I just talked about him. Tall GM. shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he didn't play chess anymore. I don't know. Spencer. It was in like California. In the Google and headquarters. And Google, yeah, right? he works at Google. Yeah, me and him and Giannis went Go and saw uh, Ken Thompson. Check. You went and saw Ken Thompson. Yeah, because he works at Google too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, "Look, bitch!" And he was shock like, head, "That's shotgun, Mister Bitch, to you." Ninety-eight. This might be the beginning of the draw. Does he have to play knight f six or not? After Let's King go G8. draw. I've got to go pack up stuff. Could he play something other than knight f six after King G eight? Why? Why does he have to play knight f six? Because the nothing the pawns hanging. I don't know. King G2. Yeah, he got play, so he could just play another move. Yeah, he could just move. He's looking Rook at the score sheet like, am I drawing or do I want to draw? Right. Yeah. And he's choking on his own rage. Yeah, Magnus going to be mad at his, at his coaches. Like, come right. on. Yeah. Yay, thank you, Applebag, for this sub. Man, he's good. He played King G without getting to the board yet. Man, that's a yeah. good play. Okay, so it's a draw. All right, so the game was a draw. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, instead of playing King G7, he can claim a draw saying he's going to play King G7. Which they did. It says yeah. draw now. Right, but maybe he just agreed to a draw. Yeah, okay, he's asking for the arbiter. I'm a yeah. inclement draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nietzsche. Yeah, and then Magnus like, yeah, I know. All right. Yep. Tough that was fair. nothing like the famous game Gotcha Bitch. That was right, nothing. Right. That was like the game Vishwa versus nothing. It's the game Katsipis against Katsipis. Oh, I saw online that there was this on the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Night right, H4. Right, right. I was like, must be must be your analysis. All right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Magnus, you're white. It's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, he wished he wished Magnus happy birthday. And Magnus took Nepo score sheet and threw it to the ground. Yeah. Man, Welcome harsh. to the real world, jackass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How come you get no advantage with white when you prepare novelty on move 20? And he's like, I'm Norwegian. What do you want? Mm -hmm. They have they have volume in this too, which we can watch later. Boring like, world of them, of them at, of, at the board. Interesting. They're using their pens to analyze. Here, here. Oh. See? Hmm, yeah, it's chess. They're like, how do we drive to the bar? That's what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, we could take the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these these guys don't hate each other, so no, it's, it's yeah. annoying. They're like talking friendly after the game. So right, you're I wish saying, it was top -off so you can't unmute that now? That you we can't hear them yet. Even if we unmute it, we can't hear them. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll hear. They'll have a video and the oh, audio. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Now Much it's like later. Fabi going like, yes, that game was a draw because uh, it was well prepared by both sides and. But he had the advantage mm -hmm. throughout. And I think uh, Jan will be happy, but Magnus will too because it's his birthday. That's that's Fabi's analysis. Yeah. They're probably like, let's go to the press conference. He says, no, it's time for you to get drug tested, bitch. It's my birthday. Oh, snap. Now, well, they, now they should drug test if Magnus. It's his birthday. So, yeah. If white plays like anything, black will play A2, rook B3, rook B1. So, how, like, what are you going to do about that? You have to find a winning plan for white. And, you know, this is a winning plan for black. A winning yeah. plan for white is... So, it probably just... This, this, pawn, this pawn is stopped six ways from Sunday. And then this is weak, this is weak, this is weak, and this is strong. So, I did draw a knight back and forth. Yeah, yeah, Jan's really happy with this game. He just drew with black pretty easily, pretty comfortably. Yeah. yeah. Hardly was sweating. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll have white next time. They're analyzing a line with Fabi where Black tries to win by sacking the exchange. Yeah, we thought about that too. Yeah, but it's smarter to do without pushing the mm -hmm. A pawn yet. If it was on A five still, maybe I think it makes more sense, but should still draw. Let me see what they're analyzing. Rook E eight, and then what? Yeah, you could take on D seven. Okay, they're analyzing that line we already analyzed. Right. Yeah, they're an they're analyzing this. Uh, King G7. Yeah, King G7, D6, and here, and here, and... We, we not, didn't look not, at this. Not there, but, you know, something. Yeah, it wasn't Rook D8. No, it we, was... It was uh, oh, it was 96. Yeah. yeah, 96. They're looking at this. 
Oh. Draw. And we already yeah. looked at this, and they're like, yeah, that's a draw. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll do a recap of the game. So let's get a marker. All right, exclam recap. Yeah, and I'll do my fourth I mean, recap of the game. Recap. <laughs> yeah. Pretty equal game throughout, and if there's no drug testing, I guess they'll they'll start the press conference in the next five minutes. Oh, Fen Beingold got us. Yeah. Yay, good job. Thanks, Fen Beingold. I don't think there will be 14 draws, no. no. It's unlikely, but... Hooray! Possible, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're analyzing the game like us, except my analysis will be better. Right. Uh, Fabio will be like, I cannot talk about this variation because this is right. my prep. <laughs> right? <laughs> Especially at the end when he goes, <laughs> Okay, so they played a Petrov, surprising some people. One of the gawking rabble in the chat said that Vichy predicted this before the game. Probably he predicted it after it happened, and then they said it was before the game. So in this position, knight c3 and d4 are played at the top level. d4 was the most popular, then knight c3 was, and now probably d4 is again. And here, black can also play knight c6 first, and then bishop e7, or vice versa. And that's very common. When I played the Petrov, I played bishop d6. And as I noted earlier, when I beat Jim Murphy in 1982 by sacking my rook and his king ran up the board, that game, uh, Michigan Open, by the way, that game started like this. You remember the games you played in 82? Also, what did you do in 82? Were you a, a sophomore in, in, in uh, high school? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so he castle, which is more common, and then c4. And in this position, uh, when I had black in the late 80s, early 90s, knight c3 was the most common move. And rookie one was second. He played rookie seven. Rookie one, I mean, not rookie seven. Bishop f5, defending. The way you punish early queen bishop moves in any opening is with queen b3. Queen d7, defending the pawn and defending the bishop. You can never take on d5 uh, with a queen because bishop takes h2 check, always wins the queen. That can happen three or four different ways, but he never hung his queen. Weird. Terrible. Okay, takes, 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 takes. So here, Magnus instantly played BC. It's still his prep. The problem with this move is queen d7. And if you take the rook, knight a4, whites up the exchange, but that queen's not good. So here comes knight b6. And the engine says c5, stopping knight b6. Knight a6, attacking the queen. Takes, always play bishop f8, and black is either clearly better or winning. I would say winning. Um, what was up a piece? So he, now he could also trade queens, which the engine also says is equal instead of giving his queen away. And if he takes this, the engine says this is dead equal. And the engine wants to interpolate C5. And it seems like a few moves are equal, but for some reason the engine likes this one the most. These two pieces are both hanging. So we get a pawn. Desperado. Yeah. Why don't you come to your senses? Take with the king. Knight here gains a tempo attacking this pawn. So I think the engine prefers this. That after knight e4, the pawn's not attacked, so we can do whatever we want. And the engine slightly likes white here. I guess the players both thought this was in the draw zone. But we could see that in a later game. If they play this line again, Magnus will probably play queen b7, queen d7, and try to win that ending, which I think has more winning chances than what he did. And what he did was shallow and pedantic. Okay, so queen D, b6 was played quickly, stopping queen b7. Take, take. This was all played very quickly by both players. Once again, queen takes, loses the queen. So probably don't do that. And here, Jan was playing instantly, and so was Magnus. And the engine wanted to take this on passant because that's a protected past a pawn. And Magnus instantly played knight h4 with no thought. So this is still his preparation. <clears throat> and I'm assuming since this move is weird and the engine doesn't like it, that Jan wasn't familiar with it. But I'm not sure because Jan played pretty quickly. I don't think he played quickly enough where it's his prep, but he played too quickly for it. Anyway, this is annoying. So he played g6. And then Magnus instantly played g4, which is the engine move. So the knight can't go to f5, but it wants to go to e3 or f4. 
and then try to attack this pawn here. And if the knight defends with f6, we can play g5 attacking the knight and then win the pawn. That's why g4 instead of g3. And also with g4, our bishop has more squares than the pawn on g3. Knight d7, knight g2, the knight wants to come here. But Jan is first, attacking the weak c-pawn. Bishop f4 instantly for Magnus, which... I mean, eventually I think black's going to be better here because this is weak, this is weak, this is passed. It's even material. And this just forces a lot of trades. And the engine just says all zeros here. And even here, the engine sees the perpetual that happened in the game as being something that's going to happen. And in this position, Magnus thought forever on every move. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe in his pregame prep, he thought this has some winning chances. And the engine's like, no, it doesn't. It's just a draw. Why are you even playing this line? Uh, okay. So he thought forever, and he played knight f6 check. If he takes on b6, which looks good, rook b8, and then, you know, everything's hanging. And it's still a draw because we still play the same draw that happened in the game. Knight here, knight here, knight here. Mm -hmm. But okay, if you're going to lose this pawn, and then, I don't know, then black, I'd rather have black. Knight e6 and rook b2 and rook g5 and rook takes d4, past a pawn. So he didn't take, he played check. He could have repeated and drawn here, but he played d5. Can't take on d5, not only because of the Ben Feingold knight c7, but the Spencer Feingold knight f6. Both winning a rook, although this only wins the exchange. <clears throat> so d5 is indirectly protected by all kinds of knight forks. Played a4, and then they repeated again, g5. And then he's like, all right, I guess I'll repeat again. And they drew here by repeating. And uh, in this position, if he wants to play for a win, Magnus, and threaten checkmate, if it was white's move, he would win. But it's black's move. So black queens, and now this is, if it's white's move, he's still winning, rook takes and mate, but it's black's move. Black has a lot of moves that win, but this one's the best because it stops mate because it blocks the rook, and now the rook has f8 to defend f7 and blacks up a queen. But okay, that's not the only move that wins, but that's the winningest, the engine says. Another way to win, which is funny, is here takes rook h3, which we analyzed before, defending the mate, and now after here, the engine announces mate for black. That would never happen, but all right. It's still funny. So you can't let the guy queen with check. Who would have thunk it? So that's good counterplay, queening with check. Well, if you're not going to double rooks and mate him, then I think only white's risking losing because these three pawns could be captured. This pawn could queen. And the only mate I see is, you know, is doing the mate that I showed you that doesn't work. The other way to play for Magnus, which he didn't do, is to play for d6. So like d6, you know, so let's say you play d6 now, for example. You can't take it because of knight here. And by I say you can't, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Give Probably this is this is a draw. The engine prefers white, but I don't know. Rook here. White. You're 96? Yeah, it just has to be a draw. Yeah, the engine says that white's better, but I don't know if I agree. I guess I agree. Yeah. Maybe. But okay. Um, but you do you wouldn't take that. You would play knight e6. Now this is attacked. Right. D8's defended one billion times. This is the only move. Rook to d8. And then if you play rook e8, if you don't play rook e8, then why did you do this? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna play h6, I'm gonna play king f8 or knight f8, not king f8. So after this, every move draws. Um, h6 draws, h5 draws, and this is the quickest draw. And then everything's a dead draw. Everything's the most drawn. Yeah. Problem with White's position is he's risking losing because this pawn's hanging and this pawn's really weak. So I mean, White's fighting for a draw here and this achieves it. Rook takes, 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 and the engine says all zeros. Yeah. But White's not better. So... I mean, if white just plays silly the next few moves, black will eventually win. Because um, this will go here, and this will go here, and this will go here, and the knight can come here after d6, and h6, and knight h7. So eventually, white's going to be in trouble because of this pawn. So he thought forever, 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 
And he said, all right, never mind, yeah. just draw. Yeah, and the final, the actual final position, which is important for you guys to understand how to claim a draw, is here. Okay, now in this position, if black plays king g7, white can claim a draw, but black can't. Once you move and hit the clock, you can't claim a draw. It's not your turn. So if Jan had played king g7, Magnus could claim a draw. But instead, Jan said, Arbiter, excuse me, I'm going to play king g7, repeating for the third time. And Magnus is like, yeah. And they shook hands. Mm -hmm. Magnus knew that. He didn't say, no, I challenge. Right. right, right. So if you claim a draw, you don't actually physically make the move. You just tell the Arbiter, I'm going to play king g7. Now. Here's something Karen knows, but she probably didn't know four or five years ago, I'm guessing. If he says king g7 is a repetition and it's a draw, I'm gonna, and he's wrong, it's not, he still has to play king g7. He's required to. And yeah, it's I, also a draw offer. Right. If you play king g7, if you say, I'm going to play king g7, that's a repetition. But you're wrong. It's not a repetition. You still have to play king g7. You can't say, okay, then I won't play it. You have to play it. And when you claim a draw, you're offering a draw. Right. So if you claim a draw and you're wrong, the opponent can say, okay, draw. You can't say, no, I'm wrong. I was just kidding. Yeah, I did not know that. That would be a good actually. trick. You're yeah. crushing somebody and you claim a draw that's not a draw because you know it's not. And then you laugh at him. The guy can say, okay, draw. So you right. can't, can't do that. There was a game in Michigan before you were born. And the guy said, I offered a draw and laughed. Yeah. Because he was kidding. And then the guy said, okay. And the director said, yeah, it's a draw. Right. He said, but I was kidding because he was winning so easily. He thought that would be funny to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's funny except for one thing. What an funny. idiot. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's what you get. He was an idiot before you were born. <laughs> Deserve. Anyway, you can stop the, you know, whatever you're doing, YouTube person. Put a marker. All right. But yeah, that was a very even game. Nobody had the advantage. They traded a lot. It was a lot of prep. And Jan drew very easily. Jan's four draws this match, <clears throat> and so far, without knowing who the players are, just they're switching colors, I wouldn't say either player is necessarily playing better than the other. Yeah. Seems like it's a pretty equal match. Uh, pretty pretty yeah. drawn. And I'm actually surprised it started with four draws. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have. Yeah. Wait, you're serious? Why did you guess that? Yeah. Wouldn't oh, guess no, four yeah, draws. I, was, I would have thought. Yay, C.L. Smith. Mm. Thanks, C.L. Smith. <clears throat> Thank you, Peclarek, for the compliments. Mm -hmm. We're a, a fam, sweet family. Mm -hmm. Thank you, C.L. Smith. So don't forget, Spencer gives online lessons. Let me give Spencer a little shout out. Wait. No, it's Spencer. <laughs> no, no, S.O. So, uh, I oh, think okay, we okay, have okay. a command. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. I need to update yeah. it. Yeah, Pokemon knowledge. That's Pokemon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch them all. You remember, were you there when London sang that at karaoke? No. He, he sang the Pokemon theme song. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can sing it. Even if I was there, I don't remember. Well, I was kind of asking Karen. But... Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. What did you say it again? He says about London. Yeah, London, uh, he, he sang the Pokemon theme song. Um, At karaoke? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I didn't remember that. Maybe you weren't there for it. It's possible. I could have been there. You know what London's go-to yeah. song is at karaoke? Uh, Raindrops keep falling on my head. Because he's London. I thought it was like London Bridge by yeah. Fergie or something. Because right. it, it's always uh, raining in London. So. Well, that's yeah, your best. It's called rain. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Ridiculous chat as usual. Mm -hmm. All right. Time to raid somebody. <laughs> uh, it's the bottom of the London. barrel. Yeah, that been good it's the bottom of the barrel. I was thinking werewolves of London. Terrible. Let me see. You don't have. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Dep. It's BAP. No, uh, whatever. Yeah. It's BAP. Come it on. is. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? Well, when we're uh -oh. in London. Yeah. It's BAP. Okay, it's BAP. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they can't even spell raid right. They can't even spell BAP right. <laughs> well, you're on your own. You're on your own. <laughs> For the Who will stop the rain? I don't know about the rain. Yeah, I'm probably not going to raid anybody. Yeah, these people There's are There's nobody all worth raiding. <laughs> yeah. Mediocre. All right, see you guys tomorrow, same Bye. time. See probably I'll see you tonight when I'm going for 2,800. <laughs> <laughs>